Let us boost ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is a prayer for everyone in the world. Almighty God, we know that everything is in your sovereign control. We ask that you keep this new virus from continuing to spread. Give our officials the ability to safely handle people arriving from other countries. Let us help people decide to stay home instead of traveling or going out needlessly. O oh, Holy Spirit, remind people to wash their hands properly. And while it may be heartbreaking, comfort families as they decide to keep their distance from elderly or other high-risk family members. Jesus, during your ministry on earth, you showed your power and caring by healing people of all ages and stations of life from physical, mental, and spiritual ailments. Be present now to people who need your loving touch because of the COVID-19. May they feel your power of healing through the care of doctors and nurses and our frontliners and backliners. Take away the fear, anxiety, and feelings of isolation from people receiving treatment or under quarantine. Give them a sense of purpose in pursuing health and protecting others from exposure to the disease. Protect their families and friends and bring peace to all who love them. And dear Lord, we lift to you our concern for people who are more likely than others to become severely ill from COVID-19, the elderly and people with chronic health conditions, the poor and oppressed, the farmers, the workers, the indigenous peoples all over the world. Protect them from harm and be their comfort in this time of uncertainty and for many, preventive isolation from loved ones. O oh, Holy Spirit, as families adjust to everyone being home as businesses and schools close, we ask that you guide people in their new realities. Give spouses grace for each other. Prompt worn-out parents to speak words of kindness and encouragement to their children. Help children find creative ways to experience the beauty of all you have created and continue learning. And the Psalm chapter 57 verse 1 quotes have mercy on me my god have mercy on me for in you i take refuge i will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed amen in the, name of the father the son the holy spirit amen All right, everyone, our time is already 19 minutes past nine, and this is your boy, A.B., for another episode of Life Talk with myself, A.B. So for those new viewers who just visited the stream, my name is A.B., why A.B., it's Ash and Bulldog. When you connect them, it's A.B., because I'm A.B. Normal, A.B. Normal for you guys. And today, it's a very uh, wonderful day. It's the 17th of January, the third week of the year, actually, 2021. And I'll be graced, and it's an honor to be accompanied by someone who is also who's also a Pokemon fan. I'm not a Pokemon, by the way, but you can... <laughs> Just kidding. Um, her, I think her favorite color is pink, so yeah, I dress up pink. And this is a kangaroo, not a bear. And of course, I know everyone's excited to talk about stress. So the question is still, um, how do we handle stress, especially in this new normal that we're all living in? And a lot of us are still, you know, finding solutions, finding uh, ways to manage their stress or manage, um, manage the, the problems and issues that they encounter every day. And it's not really um, simple. It's not like A, B, C or one, two, three. It's something that we really have to learn to manage, learn to process, and of course, learn to adjust to. 
And there are a lot of things or a lot of articles that I've read um, recently, especially last year, uh, as one of the um, ways that I um, applied into my life. Um, it's it's a new skill that I'm still developing. And of course, shout out to all of our viewers. Thank you very much for um, joining us tonight. And before anything else, uh, before I introduce our special guest for tonight, and this is a 9 to 12 a.m. Hopefully you will join us up until 12, but it's okay if you, you'll just drop by and say hi and wave. So a major shout out um, who are watching right now in Cebu and Viva Pizzenor and shout out to Emmanuel Vidal, to Benel Laksamana and to all our other, yeah, I think my, I think it's my PC slagging, but uh, please bear with me. Please, 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 PLDT, please, not now, <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, shout out to all my um, my viewers and later on I'll be um, announcing, announcing a lot of stuff and just watch out. And who knows, I'll be giving away, <laughs> no, just kidding. This is not a game stream, but this is just a chill stream. And we'll get to know one of the um, most viewed, you know, most viewed Pokemon player uh, on Facebook Live. And I don't know if she has Twitch. So this is a she. And yeah, shout out to TFC. Yeah, uh, I, I have an explanation to, to tell. And um, to Coach Avon, to Coach Ar Argelin, to Coach Christopher, to Coach John, Coach Isabel, Coach EJ, thank you so much for your support. And yeah, if you have greetings, if you have shout outs, you can just comment. I would like to, um, to read out loud later on, just put them down in the comment section. And of course, uh, don't hesitate to put, uh, for example, you have businesses, you have like anything that you would like to advertise. This is a, a free zone. You, uh, it's one way of helping out others. W wherever you are in the world, you can comment them down below. Yeah. And Emmanuel, I can feel you, dude. I can feel you. Now it's already 23 minutes past um, nine. I, I'm just going to, you know, give you like... A, um a quick uh, you know i'm just gonna give you kubaga how do you say this um on ano muna pabitin bitin ko muna kayo how, how do you say bitin bitin in english basta just stay tuned guys uh I, by 25th of nine uh, by 25th nine i mean the 25th minute of after nine PM, I'll be introducing our special guest. I, I, alam ko, everyone's excited and alam ko, she's all, also excited. Alam ko, she's like <laughs> smiling right now. And yeah, thank you so much for the love and support and um, keep on sharing th this live. I don't know if you can share it. And yeah, the, the, the pages are already on the, I think on the caption. And yeah, I think I'm just going to, to make it as a pinned comment because yeah, this is actually like the first, no, no the third time I, I, I did this. So bear with me, bear with me guys. And yeah, thank you so much. And if you have like game stream, um, YouTube channel, um, Facebook pages or um, Instagram and anything that you would like to be um, read on, on air, on air, parang radio lang. Um, feel free to put them on the comment section I'll, I'll try or we'll try our very best to read out loud and to my special guest also if you have greetings you can just prepare them later on all right so yeah it's it's a little my init right now but uh please bear with me so i'm just gonna make this as a pinned comment so her page is already pinned pinned down I ko lang kung nakikita niyo isura ko. <laughs> nakikita ba isura ko? Yeah. And it's already 24 minutes. Alam ko excited ako. If you're excited, please feel free um to to make your way, make your way para ano, grand entrance lang. So shout out lang po. Uh, shout out to everyone. And of course, before anything else, this episode of Life Talk with AB would not be possible without our sponsors at the back. Yeah, charan with you know the first general starter pack. Um, you, we have Bulbasaur, who you know a lot of players would not choose. I don't know for some reason. We have Squirtle at the back. Yeah, she's like he's like hiding, and we have Chairmander, chair, Chairmander, chair, because you know he stands like a chair. He looks like a chair, so it's Charmander rather. And we have my favorite Pokemon of all time, no other than 
El Pikachu and we have the you know we have Mew on top and so by Alon thank you very much for fun sponsoring sponsoring this night show and later I'll be introducing some of the new products and of course happy lemon for this wonderful tumbler this is a Pikachu and Pichu tumbler and yeah I'll be you know, giving away something to my special guest but I'll just PM her later and of course my plant at the back uh, just you know, just don't mind them at the back. I'm just still setting up my 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 stream. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's already 26 minutes. I know, I know. Sorry, sorry. And without further ado, let's give it up for our very lovely and very ano ba ano ba magandang adjectives? Gorgeous, like posh, like legit. Um, sassy. We could call her sassy, cigar. Sassy, like amazing, inspiring, moving. And if you, I researched a lot of adjectives before I, I wanted to introduce her. Um, very genuine and very um, um, humble fellow streamer and a friend of mine from miles away. Let's give it up for Anna. Yeah. Hi, Anna. Hi. I think you're okay. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello, oh, everyone. My God. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> How are you to find out? No, just kidding. <laughs> Good evening, Anna, wherever you are. And I know a lot of our viewers are um, really excited to you know, I finally meet you because a lot of people were like asking me, who's that, who's that um, pretty lady that you shared oh, as your me. special guest? <laughs> <laughs> And of course, before before we start with the you know the getting to know um getting to know the streamer or getting to know the guest with um live talk, is that mm -hmm. um do you have any shout outs first before we um, start? I can't wait long. I think I see happy birthday, Emma. Hello, hi, hi, Emma. Happy birthday, hi, Vanel. Hello. Yee. So yeah, those are hi, Timothy. Hello, Timothy. Hello. So yeah, good evening, guys. So ito yung mga ano na, mga ano mga mga poke poke gang. Ito yung mga poke gang ni ano. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you for so, being here. Ee. So <laughs> alam ko excited din yung mga mga poke fans natin diyan. And also, I would like to make a huge shout out to Pokemon Incorporated. We're celebrating the 25th year of Pokemon Madness or Pokemon Love yes. this year. So we're all so excited. And I myself is a Pokemon fan way back in 1998. That's the reason why I named myself after Ash Ketchum for no apparent reason. I just love Ash. I want to be the very best. I want to catch Pokemon. But sad to say, I don't. we don't have Pokemons here in this universe. But hopefully, hopefully, um, like Anna, Anna Deluna is also known as Won't Play Your Heart. Later on, we'll get to know more of that. So um, without further ado, we'll start with the interview portion interview portion i'm greatly excited and excited uh, and i had been you know wanting to answer a lot of questions a lot of um you know a lot of things that people people miss out a lot of things because normally we 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 want people to you know know our other ego or alter ego through our streams but now let's start with the question why won't play your heart What's the meaning behind your your in-game name? Let's say your uh, in-game name or your um, nom de guerre or your character name. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, a lot of people think that I have a hugot or may pinag may ano yun, may interesting backstory, but I don't. I don't have hugot, honestly. Um, well, basically, the story is simple. My brother was looking for a username, and I said, "Why not? Won't play your heart." And then he laughed. He thought it was funny because you know I'm kind of I have a goofy personality. Um, and then and then he 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 added the three. And then when I was starting to when I was starting my my page, I couldn't think of a like a name. So I decided to take it back since I was the one who made it. So yeah, now it's that that's it. That's it. <laughs> So basically, won't that's play won't play your heart. There's no other you know no, like very no, subliminal. No, no, no. Wala akong hugot. Wala akong interesting the backstory. So it's pretty boring. It just represents my goofy personality. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's you, pretty you much Yeah. And there are times, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. There are times I feel embarrassed about, I feel so, like, I don't know. Like, I shouldn't have named it that way. <laughs> <laughs> there are times, yeah. Because a lot of people think na, 
um there's a back there's like a backstory i got heartbroken yeah. or something but in all honesty it's just uh, it's just that you know i'm i'm funny so <laughs> so that's pretty much it so do you have like any you know sample goofy jokes Oh, to really, yeah. to really, you know, to to make uh, our viewers and re really, um, how do you call this? To really, oh, no. um, believe that y there's no other meaning behind the won't play your heart, oh. um, three. When so, you yeah. wala buko you, <laughs> I can't think of a joke right now. I'm ass on the spot, so. Yeah. Uh, later, uh, later, hopefully in the future or one of along the inter along this um this podcast. Okay, uh, uh, along with the podcast, uh, because yeah. we have uh, up until twelve midnight to really take away <laughs> take away a very wonderful joke. Mm -hmm. And next question would uh, go like because you know a lot of people, especially when you know this is like an untimely um event for all of us, especially what happened in twenty twenty. You a lot of you know unfortunate events or series of unfortunate events um happen and then here we are we're all cooped up in you know the four corners of our room or four corners of our house or sometimes four corners of anywhere we're in so what made you decide to stream um what made me decide to stream was actually my friend who encouraged me i never thought my friends and my brother they encouraged me i don't know if they're if they're just joking around, if they were really serious, but I started, I, I really, I really grew up the games. I watched my brother play games all the time, except I'm, I'm a potato. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I said, why not? Why not try it? Since I do play games almost every day and without no, without having the intention of, you know, be becoming famous or whatever i just did it for fun it really started for fun so oh no my train of thought i'm so sorry i'm so nervous <laughs> okay, yeah. um, even i is very nervous I'm right so now nervous. um uh oh gosh i lost my train of thought <laughs> no, 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 it's okay it's okay so, we, we always have so that yeah. you know first interview I told, mm -hmm. Go I, ahead. Told, I told myself when i'm rank when I'm red ranks for Dead by Day at Mobile, I start streaming. Para hindi na kahiya. So yun yun lang yun. <laughs> yun na pala yun. Oh, that, that... Wala na ako. Wala ako interesting na story. Na engano lang talaga ako ng mga kaibigan ko. Yeah. Ah oh, okay. So yeah, a lot of like um to all our viewers, if you also have like questions, like you know questions for our uh, very um like sassy and goofy uh, yeah that's like that's a wonderful I know um go, uh goofy and sassy like you know you know sassy girl <laughs> sassy um, <laughs> sassy guest not si si Anna or she won't play your heart so. If you have any questions, you can PM me or you can just comment them down below. We'll try to um, read them over, uh, throughout the stream. We have you have almost uh, three hours or so. Mm -hmm. So now, um, you mentioned that you have like siblings, siblings like playing. Uh, what was the first ever game that you played when you were, you know, a, a young Anna who wanted to be the very best someday? Um, aside from the games from the Nokia phone, like the rocket thingy. Um, I already did started playing Pokemon, like legit. Maybe I watched my brother play Red Alert from time to time, and like the old Valve games. But I really grew up the Pokemon, except I didn't take it so seriously. I didn't know about yeah. the weaknesses, unlike now. Now I really take it seriously, so I would say Pokemon talaga. Yeah. Like Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people, you know, a lot of people are having this thought like, um, there are a lot of games like, you know, we could play like Candy Crush, like, you know, the stereotype of people like, um, because I myself was like, whoa, there are like a lot of people or a lot of women or uh, let's say uh, girls are playing um like legit gamers games. So we, we want to have to don't have that barrier or that stereotype that, um, Games are only for boys, but now we have like you who are really showing to the people like um, their gamers are gamers. It doesn't have to have like you know like a demarcation or there's a certain stereotype. You you should only play Candy Crush or uh -oh. I just I just reinstalled you know the restaurant something. <laughs> Overcooked. Yeah, you you know that that game from from Windows nineteen ninety five. I know Windows nineteen eight. Windows 1998 um moments when you play that 
while you're waiting for the internet or dial up to you know reload. Uh, Yahoo games sometimes. A shout mm-hmm. out to Yahoo back and man. No, just kidding. Mm-hmm. So you mentioned earlier that you played um Nokia phone. So it, it yeah. was a space impact. Yes, you like, impact. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, yung, like <laughs> all of us start that way. I don't know. I'm a nineties kid, so I did if you're talking about games, like in general, I started with that game. But with uh, actually yeah. like I don't know, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just want to say my camera it's appearing like like the when you when you run out of cable. I don't know why that's happening but I apologize but anyways you can see me clearly yeah so yeah like um just bear, just bear with us guys yeah. we 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 know like we're all experiencing the lag but you know the, thank you for the lag and support you know just it's a pun it's a pun you know thank you for the love and support so we just changes for the like and support. So, baka naman, PLDT. Huwag <laughs> ngayon. Huwag <laughs> <Okay. laughs> ngayon. Yeah. Pero, uh, yeah, uh, you mentioned that you, 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 have, you have been a gamer ever since the 90s. So, my next question will be, um, how do you see yourself um, in the gaming world? Like, let's say, three to five years from now. Would you still be, you know, since... We're celebrating the 25th year of Pokemon, um, and then you're streaming Pokemon games, and then there are a lot. Even I, it's like you know, left behind. Like a, I've not you know, um, updated myself with the Pokedex. I think there's like almost 900 plus new Pokemon all over like the Pokeverse. I don't know the Pokeverse, the Pokemon universe. So where do you see yourself like three to five years from them as a streamer of Pokemon or as a streamer in general? Oh, wow, that's that's so difficult. I hope that by that time I'm playing like the more recent games. Uh, I I don't know what I'm the kind of person because I don't like to say what's gonna what what I have in mind. Um, because I prefer to it to be to be materialized. But mm. I can say this: I really hope that I'm still streaming by that time, and hopefully, yeah, I hope I hope that. You know, it became my dream to throughout when I was streaming to you know become a streamer, and yeah, I hope that I become like a legit, fully fledged streamer. Yeah, I don't know if that makes, but I mean, like, I hope, I do hope to become. If I were to be really honest, I hope I do hope to become a partner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like legit. No, like that's one of the dreams of like. Many. every pokemon like and and every or any um streamer like to be like a full fledged even myself is like a you know um that's one of my passion of really playing games like hardcore and just like you uh, it's really inspiring to to see people who really enjoys what they uh, w- w- really enjoys what they really want to play and no one was like no just play this game you play this game and was there ev- um, later on um by 10 we'll be having the first part of the um really uh, what we're going to talk about throughout the discussion is how we handle stress but um to add more on what you mentioned about three to five years yeah i i, I would agree with you like s- sometimes we don't really want to you know blurt out something that we don't want uh, that we have difficulty sometimes to really materialize. So, alam mo parang not unlike <laughs> shout out to my brother here. Like you know, sabay sa ala, like you're going with the flow. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes mm-hmm. really, um, we want things to to take one step at a time. Like yeah, what Jordi true. Sparks mentioned, like one uh-huh. step at a time. <laughs> There's no need to rush. But yeah, next question for you is that. Um, inaalala ko yung mga uh, ano eh mga, mga mga questions um how do you how do you start up your your day like what what do you normally do before you start your streaming um what do how what do i uh, do i mean like i start yeah the streaming like for example like um do you have like certain rituals like um for example you jump around before like kaya ko to, i'm going to catch a shiny pokemon today or something ganun um, I I honestly nowadays I really have in mind streaming. Like it's something that really makes me productive, even if I have like a like a job and everything, and I really I, I take care of our house. Um, 
honestly, I really, I, I think that it's bad to easily get up, like get up so fast when you're still in sleep. So I give myself time to kind of think about, ponder what I do. Then afterwards, I actually go to work. I, I entertain mm. clients. Um, and then I, yeah, I think about concepts on the stream. If I have time, I have time to grind and I grind for the stream. I think about content to create. Um, I think about, like, I read books sometimes. Like, I already, I re honestly, my calm skills is something that's difficult for me because I'm so nervous. I'm so introverted. I'm so used to being by myself. So recently, I've been reading books about it, um, audiobooks, just to help myself become more um, eloquent when it comes to talking online. I don't know. Palati ako na utal. Palati, there's always... I'm always speechless for some reason. I I just want to engage better with the audience. So yeah, that's something. Mm, I agree. Oh, it's not a routine. I just said what I do. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. actually that's, that's something that um, a lot of people, especially our audiences or our viewers, sometimes miss out or, you know, uh, they there's something something that is really interesting to to note that we also have like lives behind the screen, you know, behind the screen. When I do work out, Especially for my back, because I have poor posture, to be honest, and I need to improve on that. So I would do mm. posture, posture uh, exercises in the morning. Um, Stretching. Sometimes at night, if I can, I, I take a walk outside, a jog, something something like that. Mm. Something like that. So you have like um you know like mental and physical um preparations as well before you stream or post post stream as well. What well, that's nice. Uh, that's yes. really nice. I do I do pray um mm -hmm. before I stream. Drink lots of water. Make sure I already I already went to the the CR because I have a really small bladder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> we all do. Yeah, but yeah, thank you so much for um, sharing that. Our time is 42 minutes past nine. So here's the next question, um, Anna. Since you mentioned earlier that, you know, we, you also have like um, life. So what are the different, um, what are the, um, let's say, what are the other hobbies aside from streaming, aside from reading that you mentioned that, um, that makes you busy or makes your time um let's make your time you get done hobbies um aside from streaming playing games and and reading um well i'm such a nerd so talaga reading talaga is my hobby i do look i do love to watch movies i'm mm. a cinephile i love to listen to music um no particular genre but i am an arctic monkeys fan so oh. i like it rock music stuff like that but literally anything anything like any music wh whether it's pop or whatever I, I like it if i like it i like it i do like nah. fashion i mean i'm not i don't know if you call myself fashionable but i do i do like to dress up yeah, like it's so I know. Um, like a lot of our um viewers also mentioned, like you know, like you you have that trademark um hoodie. I, actually, I have a hoodie just like I mean, like track um track suit. I think that's a track suit, right? Mm -hmm. Or does it have like the hoodie? Is that yeah? The, the it's a, I do have a hoodie. It does have a hoodie. So oh yeah, oh my God. Actually, I saw that from you know from that store. Baka naman, baka naman. Shout out pala sa ano sa sponsor na. Oh, grabe, walang sponsor. Malay natin, di ba? May ma sa mga viewers natin dyan, pwede nyo itag. Pwede nyo itag yung ano yung one. But yeah, I really love that. Um, actually, my brother um gave me a tracksuit same as yours with the hoodie. Kaso uh -huh. he... I don't know. It's missing. Maybe he. Um, shout out to my brother in Japan. Um, I think it's oh, Kombanwa Guzaimas. Jacket desu. <laughs> the jacket desu. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, but anyways, thank you so much for sharing that. And yeah, a lot of people, um, especially gamers, we 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 tend to have other hobbies behind the screen. So how about you now? Um, you mentioned that you you're into movies you're into you're a cinephile as well so wh what are the recent films that you have watched and or series that you're 
currently mm-hmm. hooked to. Uh, well, I I am watching X and Y right now. Pokemon X and Y. Trying mm. to finish that and Sun and Moon soon. Um, I'm, I can't think of a movie on the top of my mind, but I'm I'm a Stanley Kubrick fan. I love Stanley Kubrick movies. Uh, I love I love actresses. Sometimes when I watch movies, it's more about the actresses rather than the movie itself. So I'm an Audrey Hepburn fan. Oh. Uh, yes, yes. I'm an Audrey Hepburn fan. I'm a Michelle Pfeiffer fan. Old school Hollywood, I really love. Especially back in when I was high school, I would always watch like old movies. And I do want to mention as well that I do enjoy our cinema, our Philippine cinema. And I do watch a lot of mga Lina Broca films, mga pang national oh artists na natin na sa cinema. I really, yeah, I just, I'm just a cinephile. I'm, I'm very, yeah, I'm very artsy in that sense. <laughs> and I do love studio, studio Ghibli films. Oh my god. Oh, of course. Oh my god. Like like classics, you know the the all time classics. Like um, those are like the, f- the directors and those are like the actresses and artists and you know like um studios that you should watch their films or what they ha- they had produced before you die. You know when you when you when you search on Google, <laughs> um one top one hundred films you must watch before yeah. you you know you go to another universe. But yeah, like seriously. <laughs> Um, the question, since I I myself is like a Audrey Hepburn fan, actually. Oh, that's nice. I'm so happy you're also a fan. Yeah, I, I love like the 40s, like the 50s. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so cool. I'm so happy like you have this in common. I didn't I didn't think of it because I see like you like Korean. I mean, not that yeah. I'm... Oh my God. Perfect. Like, that's in, uh, I think, what's that movie? War and Peace, I think. Yeah, yeah. Warren Peace. Mm-hmm. In the Paris, so Audrey Hepburn, and I, I have like a, of course, oh, there's a special, per, a special person inside, you know, myself. Oh, oh. So because you know, pandemic, you know, you know, like, uh, lock it, like pocket lock it, so pocket oh, mirror, oh. so I can we can see together, you know, cheesy, <laughs> cheesy. So shout, shout out to my, so shout out to my partner who is also a supporter of you know. My passion of really talking, talking a lot. Sam all. Wow. Partner. Marami kang partner actually si. Ni mga Pokemon mo si. Yung oh. may anim ka na mga starters. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, it's already forty-eight minutes, and um, there's a lot of questions as well. But um, feel free to ask questions down below to all our oh. viewers. And Imagine. shout out. Alam mo ba? I'm so. I'm. So, we are so honored to have. I'm Councillor Jong Hilario, who is currently watching right now. You know, Councillor Jong, you, the um, Sample King. Sir Jong, thank you so much for watching. Like, I, I was like, is this for real? No, just kidding. Uh, favorite Audrey Hepburn fan? I mean, film fan. Film? Okay. Yeah. Um, so many. Roman Holiday and Funny Face. <laughs> Please. I love it. How, how did you feel at the last part? Of Roman Holiday, how did you feel when I forget the name of the uh, the main yeah, actor, the yeah. actor walking away? Sorry for the spoilers. Uh-huh. Um, please, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, please bear with us. But Anna, uh, this is like my my question, to my fellow uh, fellow Audrey Hepburn fans or you know cinephiles. Like, how did you feel, or what was your um, expectation? Or reaction while you were um, nearing the end of the film strip. Um, I think because I'm so used to watching films and I'm so I'm educated about it. I've had courses in college about film theory, mm. and you know, uh, and I didn't really think much of it because I knew from the title itself, kaya nga holiday, right? When when you say holiday, it's something that's not permanent. It's something that that you know it's just it's just a ephemeral festivity um if 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 that's the right term or something i don't know um i i really i'm really used i really like films wherein you don't really get what you want at the end like you don't end up with the person because it's about the process of you getting there rather than the end itself and what you've learned what you like experiences that you 
you know, you want to treasure. And I'm losing my train of thought. Um, <laughs> experiences that you want to learn. And how, how it's like those films that are, it's like 500 Days of Summer, right? She didn't end up with, um, with Zoe de Chanel. Because it's about what took you to get there and where you are now. That's like the why the seasons. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like just like um Makoto Shink Shin is Makoto Shinkai. Correct me if I'm uh, wrong. Yeah, you know, Makoto Shinkai. Uh, 30, 35 minutes. We're 35 per no five centimeters per uh, second. Five centimeters per second. <laughs> um, a lot of I remember we were discussing that in class. Why why it, he could have just text the girl and then yeah, the right. girl sila. But then it's in Japanese culture, especially, um, it's about the process and not about, you know, the actual end. So that's why I, I believe for me, I believe that's why Roman holiday is that way. And if you think about it, it's not feasible to, to be in a relationship with, you know, someone who's, who's Royal, you know, royalty, right? Who's royalty. And yeah, it's truly, it's, it wasn't a feasible relationship. So I think that brings reality a bit, a little bit of reality to the film because you don't always, you know, get what you want or, or, yeah, you don't always yeah. get what you we, want. We, we don't want, we, those are the certain films like, like, it really pulls us to be in, in that situation. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, we, we are so biased to having this thought of, you know, the, the, the typical Disney happy, mm -hmm. happy, mm -hmm. um, happy endings. So Western that, ending, yes. Very yeah. Western. Uh -huh. Unlike like Asian stories like Cliffhanger, r Music Cue, Enter, Crying, and then you, and you know, end, end of film and then black screen and then you, you are just left there. It's like, what was just happened? Mm -hmm. What was just happened? Like five centimeter per second, I watched that like a, like a tons of times already uh -huh. there was this in um there was this one time when i was riding the bus uh -huh. which, because i think it was like er, only 30 minutes uh, it's like a 30 minute um film and then i was crying inside the bus and then i rewatch it again you know i just rode the bus to experience like yeah. makoto shinkai's concept of time traveling mm -hmm. through the the um, you know the symbolisms of the train. Yes, yes, yes. The symbolisms of that's train. That's true. That's true. Very. That's a good insight. Yeah. Deba. Na parang don't you will really understand more if you're in that situation of experiencing that those uh -huh. scenes as well. Pero shape we can't go to you know, Japan or you know ride the bullet train. Uh -huh. Pero yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting to know that um Anna here to all our viewers is also a cinephile and. Um, mm -hmm. Probably, probably in future episodes because a lot of people were um, requesting to have this like twice a week. Like, oh, my, I have to sleep. Like, I have a, I have a life as well. But yeah, um, because one of my um, interests is also reviewing or you know having recaps on certain series like you know the Game of Game of Thrones. I'm gonna have like a podcast on recap as well. Like. Nice. Um, hopefully you will be one of the guests as well like you know um, okay. really understanding films like lino broca like what was the uh one what is your favorite lino broca film to you know well, before it we has to be one of the um it has to be the canes nominated one which is ng liwanag. of course that's like a masterpiece Pembol Rocco. yes yes very uh -huh. Very, very great, good actors, good actresses. Um, it's so funny because the film was low budget, but it's so high quality, and I don't yeah, know. It's the story I mean, behind it. It's really a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Like legit, like Lino Broca. To all the Broca fans, to my friends who are also part part of Panday and Lino Broca um, community, thank you so much for you know continuing the like raising the banner of like Filipino films as well. And there are a lot of um Broca films that are really um you know inspiring and something that it's uh, it, timeless, like timeless masterpieces. Mm -hmm. So all right, it's already 54 minutes. We have six minutes and I know a lot of people are um asking. So we're just gonna read some of the um questions I have. I had a lot of PMs here. <laughs> like first like who who is that? Um, guess you have Ash. Like shout out to Sayo. Like okay, a lot. I'll be reading your name later on. But um, I have a question coming from uh, I think 
our I think that's your 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 friend. He was asking earlier um what what is your um personal computer's um specifications? Oh gosh, I wish I could When you first had when you had like your first live, like what was your setup? Like your first oh ever gosh. stream? I could only I just want you guys to know the quality was so bad. I can only stream at 480p because I was using a laptop that I had ever since in college. It didn't have a video card. So it, it was just like a it was just a laptop. Yun lang. Kaya, kaya pala ting laggy. I couldn't stream in like 720p. Always 480p. That's why it's so blurry back then. And I would just use the webcam that it had on it. But you know, it did it did the job. RIP to my laptop. It, it has served me well. It has served me well. <laughs> so so I, I think that that questions uh, um that's I answer your questions about um mm -hmm. Emmanuel. I think it was Emmanuel Vidal. Yeah, yeah, the, you know, have you ever had that? As you mentioned, you have your brothers. You have like siblings who, who had um computers. So, yeah. um, was there an an instance? Because this is really you know something that um worth mentioning sometimes on interviews. Like, was there a time like you fought over a computer? Like, um, later I will be sharing as well. Like, what? because we're a sibling of, sibling of five. So, yeah. can you share? Can you share with us? Like, this is a funny because we want to you know know the goofy side of. Have you ever had that? Um, experience with your brothers um, fighting over a computer game yeah. and what was the computer game and what was the console or what was uh, was it in computer PC? Um, it wasn't really a computer. It wasn't really 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 fight over games more of like the usage of a certain thing and they don't want to share it. So my brother bought this my, my mom bought him this laptop and I didn't have a laptop, so I had to share sometimes with him. I, I have to use it. And then he would get angry if ever. I, re I accidentally tilted it, and he got so angry because he's so, he's so, um, he wanted, he really wants to take care of that laptop. So, you and that's, that's like what I can recall. <laughs> like the most that we've argued. So, what was the game? What was the game that you, you was there a game that you were fighting game, over? Though? There wasn't any game. Maybe recently when I didn't have a PC, sometimes I would play in his PC using playing Dead by Daylight mode. Dead, Dead by Daylight to PC. And then he, if I extend too much, uh, he, yeah, he get a little bit, not, I wouldn't say angry, but just a little bit frustrated. <laughs> like, yeah. you, have you ever had a uh, uh, follow up question? Have you ever been into a computer shop before when you were in college or in yeah, high school? Of course, of course. Especially when I was really young, I was really exposed to like people playing Dota, uh, Counter Strike. My brother, my brother, when, when we were young, we'd always go to Green Hills. And Green Hills, I forgot the name, Natopia Bayon. Yeah, Natopia, like very oh, expensive. Yeah. Uh oh. Because sometimes when my mom would go shopping, um, iwan kayo don. Oh, ako or sa sama ko sa mami ko. So yun nat. That's why benjo exposed talaga ako sa games. Because yung kuya ko, prepare ako na nandang ako. O mal mal na kuya ko din maglaro. So yun habang nagi shopping nani ko or 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 kung kasama man ako sa nani ko, nandun siya naglaro ng Counter Strike. Yung lumang counter sa yung 1.6 ata, 1.4, parang gano'n. Oh yeah, 1.6 before. Like 1.3, 1.6, there was like Half-Life. Yeah. Shout out to all computer shop um, owners and also gamers before. Um, yeah, so it's, um, I think it's a minute before we hit Ted. So just to wrap things up, um, last question for our um, viewers as well. Um, later on, some viewers natin and to our commenters, just keep on commenting. You can also um interact by you know um ask if you have questions for Anna, feel free. Don't ask questions to me because I'm not the guest. I am like the host lang dito. And my kangaroo looking what? Uh, this is a kangaroo. Actually, this is a kangaroo. Um, you know, I, I'm a kangaroo now. I'm just kidding. Because there are people asking, are you wearing a onesie? Yeah, I'm wearing a onesie and it's pink. One of my favorite colors. I pink. love it. But, <laughs> they, yeah. Because Anna's favorite color is pink, so kailangan ko mag, ano, mag, mag blend in. So here's a question for uh, for you, Anna, before we go move on with our, you know, very, you know, uh, ito yung mga interesting na mga questions din. So, um, 
what was um, the most important thing that you've learned so far from the experience of being a gamer? A gamer? Um, experience of what I learned being a gamer? Um, honestly, I have so much to learn that I don't know what, what, to, what to say. Huh. Or I can say a streamer, rather. Mm, or a streamer, rather. Um, well, the thing about streaming is that um, don't start. Don't... Because uh, I would always get emotional sometimes because, again, I have anxiety. And there are times where I'm just I'm just a cringe fest. And, and I guess I learned not to take it too seriously. And it's also like like in work you have to be professional a bit so i already did learn that when it comes to streaming yeah, mm, yeah. From being a gamer wala akong maiisip from being a gamer no pero um, yeah don't trash talk cuz it's going to get yeah. back to you. that's it <laughs> yeah that's the, that's that's one of my um um follow up questions mm-hmm. anyways guys um it's already 10:01 so we're just going to have a um short break a minute break kasi okay. alam ko din si Anna is also you know sabi niya kanina she mentioned like we all have like small bladders so we're just going to have a a minute break or a minute or two so you're watching live talk with AB with our special guest one player heart 3 or Anna De Luna. So stay tuned lang guys and just keep on commenting and sharing the stream, sharing the love and don't forget to check the bye. pin comment. Pero hindi pa to tapos ha. Baka mag-aalis ka ng Bye here. So bye. Bye BRB. BRB. Oh, BRB lang po mga guys. Paano ba to? Ah, yun. So How do I? Okay. Off lang yung cam actually. <laughs> Para the first time lang din natin yun, so they can hear us from from the ano. You can actually add a photo ata. Oh, photo. Oh, para makita para makita itsura mo. But yeah, um short a sanity break lang guys. I will be back by 3. And we're back everyone. Ayun, antay lang natin si Ana, si Ana. Yeah. Anyways, we're back for the second part of Live Talk with AB. Um I'm still your host. This is AB Ash Bulldog. For those who don't know me or if just new to my stream, um I'm having a special guest by the name of Ana De Luna. She's also a fellow streamer and a Pokemon enthusiast, like a Pokemon master to be. Kasi ako po yung Pokemon Master. Sorry po sa mga Pokemon Masters dyan. But yeah, um, inaantay ko na lang sila matapos ka ng mga badges and everything. So we'll just wait for Anna. So we're having this uh, live talk because we're we're wanting to, you know, put spotlight on gamers in general for the first month. And um, as a, you know, Pokemon fan as well. So if you have questions, you have Um, you know, you would want to share as well if you have answers. How do you handle stress? For example, to Emmanuel Vidal, to um, Vanel Laximana, um, to all our viewers, thank you so much for being so participative and, you know, cooperative on the comment section. And this is something that I really love. Like, people are really engaged in the talk. And welcome back to the Hello. live talk. Um, I'm Anna, parang ayan. So, okay yeah. niyo mga brothers yeah. natin dyan. Naka... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> parang maganda yun no parang um, if there there's um like a meme like okay na yung bladder natin. Okay pa ba bladder natin diyan? Then joke lang. Yan, okay. Uh, sorry. Ma- I I wanted the, the water parang water break them. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> um going back, this is like the second portion of our live talk. So we got to somehow a glimpse of who's Anna and who's this won't play your heart. <laughs> and we we found out a lot of things about her being a gamer, a cinephile, a, a book, um, you know, let's say a book enthusiast as well, and something like 
a goofy person, a goofy person, because a lot of people, um, you know, there are streamers that are, they're just having a facade. They're just having a, a mass because it's their character that they wanted to portray. But there are streamers just like us, like what you see is what you get. This is, uh, this, these are the people that you are seeing are the actual beings because Ash Bulldog is not actually my, my real name. Those mm -hmm. are just my nicknames. And, you know, a, a B is, you know, I just made myself A B because a lot of times I'm A B normal. I'm no, not normally normal. So it's A B normal most of the time. So now we're going to ask you hard hitting question. Kumbaga, ito clincher level na. And then sa 11 to 12, ito na yung mga philosophical questions to okay. the extent na dudugudu ko yung mga, okay. uh, you prepare. know, prepare yung parang interview questions. Yung, alam yung mga, why do we hire? Uh, why should we hire? Yung mga, yung mga killer questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, ano pa rin talaga? Something that will be revolving around the topic of how do we handle stress especially now at this pandemic because um for those viewers that who just um recently tuned in um people are you know just like us um people may see us very you know happy go lucky goofy funny etc we from what they see, are seeing on our streams but little did they know we also encounter experience you know as you mentioned earlier anxiety you know fear like disgust or something sometimes we we feel like being choked or being pressured a lot of times so i wanted to have this um platform to really um share with others that you know people like us like streamers like you know quote and unquote influencers or um content creators um in general also experiences like people you know the suffering or you know the problems or perennial issues or um mental issues that really um should be discussed because communication uh, for everyone i i think you're a communication you know major if no. you're communicating <laughs> actually i'm i'm, I'm Hindi, sabi ko lang, ak akala ko lang yun. So, yun pa rin, kalimutan ko tanungin ka din na, um, what, was, what, what was your 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 major um, back in college? Um, well, it's humanities. It's a study of like literature, art, philosophy, history. Yeah. It's very, it's very yeah. new, uh, an artsy course. More in the arts. So, yeah. Humanities in general. Actually, mm -hmm. I took up um double major before. So shout out to my professors. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but I don't know that that was a short stint. That was a short stint. Mm -hmm. It was offered um it was A B English and A B Literature before. Oh. But I, you know I I, I love it. Course. That's why that's why you're such a good speaker. Unlike myself. No, you're you're actually to the viewers, uh, especially when 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 I was watching you, uh, and whenever I watch your stream, like you're so fluent, you're so eloquent, and you have this certain you, you have this certain character or aura, like Sabihira, like em Emmanuel Vidal, uh, Vanilla Samana, you, 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 you would agree with me, like um, Anna is, you know, you're 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 going outside of your comfort zone. And yeah. you're really doing it, the public speaking. Like you, sometimes we realize, and then we uh, do. You, you know, my first question is: Do you rewatch your your live feeds? Sometimes, so because I have to improve. Like I know that I really make mistakes. You know, I'm not like I regret saying this or that, and or like I have to fix the mic or how I how my posture. And I really, I it's just it's just a pain to watch yourself, but I have to so that I can improve. So, because I make a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, that's that's really uh, helpful as well. So, mm -hmm. was there a time in in reviewing? Um, so, ito, ito na, we're going to ask you the certain question about managing stress and anxiety. As we all know, to all our mm -hmm. viewers, uh, a lot of people, you know, we we can't control. You know, if especially us, like small, I ako lang pala because Anna is like a big time streamer. They just kidding. No, like, no, I'm not. I'm not. Di ba tayo like starters? Parang nandun yeah, na tayo yeah. sa beginner streamers. Mm -hmm. But we're, we stream because we we love doing what we're doing. So mm -hmm. sometimes we we encounter we encounter like rude, like trash talking or oh, very indecent um mm -hmm. 
commenters or individuals uh, was there how did you handle that uh, was there an experience you, you need not to mention what she or oh, he goodness. or that person yeah. mentioned but was there a time in in your one of your streams that since you mentioned you are reviewing some of them mm -hmm. you caught something that made you you know more scared or how did you handle that um after learning that there's a certain person for example um made a very bad comment mm -hmm. during your live stream that you have not read throughout your stream actually i always i i i, I don't know why but i always read the call the the hate comments live and the ones that i missed out the people who said hi i missed them out it's so it's so funny right like i really see i really see them i really see, they really stand out um yeah i yeah sometimes i do when i look back at it i was like oh na ang sakit <laughs> yeah sometimes Para i do so, Dubai, you, you you had that experience, like really, just like what Emmanuel mentioned, like sometimes people would just you know spam, spam, hate comments just for you to, because if they're for example kids, because we can't control the audiences we have online. Mm -hmm. So, how did you um cope up afterwards, or what did you do to um avoid ba, or how did you manage that? um issue afterwards and what was your game plan after well i think that i have made mistakes i shouldn't have you know i shouldn't have just ignored it you know there are times na it does affect me and my mood changes throughout the stream uh well i'm human and it's really it's really you know it, re it can really affect you um what I would do is that I would, of course, I would rant to my friends about it just to release the tension, just to get it out of my system. Uh, do I, I, sometimes they're not really offensive comments. They're more on uh, like very healthy, healthy criticism. Um, so I use that and try to, what can I do better? Like, what can I, what can I, what can I do to improve the stream? But Solely, I know that these things happen because it's meant to make you a stronger person. And I want to be strong, not because I want to appear strong to others, but so that other people can be strong too. So, yun. I try to that's, be strong. Mm -hmm. That's really something, um, you know, to, to our viewers as well, uh, especially to our supporters. Um, sometimes those are the people who are defending us. Like, um, mm -hmm. I've if you could remember there's one time when i think that was the first time ever w that i watched your stream and you know oh. I, I was like the first time i saw it's like finally someone streaming pokemon games like you know like you see from different gaming groups like you saw some like ah the same thing the same content the same stuff and then you see something very refreshing i think you were what uh, you're playing um was it um pokemon green leaf uh leaf green uh, leaf green yeah yeah, yeah i think that was at the time you you were hindi pa yun, you're not catching zap those that time i think um, yeah, I, almost... yeah, I think i think it was that time when you were catching zap those and all of the the commenters were like no, you used the pokeball you you were like i'm paralyzed that person you, you know um so we were so excited we were so happy mm -hmm. to to really, you know, reminisce like old games, and then th those are the things that you know made us, you know, happy. So you being a um, an epitome, or let's say you being a an influencer, um, what do you do normally, especially when you you have like supporters? Like, you, how how do you feel when you see someone like, for example, Emmanuel Vidal, diba? Emmanuel Vidal, yung sila sila Vinel, Laksamana, like how, how do you feel normally, especially when you see um hi you, you know you kumbaga mga suki mo kumbaga your 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 supporters and how do you um deal with them after support wait uh uh how do I uh, okay, baga, uh, uh, let me rephrase the question um, okay okay. okay. Diba? The, 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 we always have like the avid supporters like yes. because sometimes diba, may mga tao na wala bakit wala pa kung ano yung supporters badge yung, diba? 
Wala pa akong like, shoutout, gano'n. Oh, wala pa akong shoutout. Hindi mo ako sina shoutout. Minsan mga cranky, cranky. Yan, mga tawag ko dyan, mga ano yan, mga Team Rocket to. Nandito na mga Team Rocket. <laughs> Pero di ba sometimes uh, we have like like avid, genuine supporters. Like, um, for yes. example, Emmanuel, Vanel, mm-hmm. sina shoutout na namin kayo. Ah. Pero yeah, um, how do you um, normally feel when you, when you see people, the, the, the people who are always there? Kumbaga, alam mo yung parang the, the feeling, um, What what is your feeling? Your initial feeling lang, and then, um, do you, and how do you uh, manage that feeling as well? Super happy, of course, because I never thought that anybody would watch me. Gulat na gulat kami ng mga kaibigan ko na. I mean, hindi naman ako. Of course, di ako ganong kalaki na 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 the page. Pero yung ganito, kung tuwang tuwa na ako dito. Si mababaw lang kagiligayahan ko. So, sobrang natatouch talaga ako na si Eman, si Vendel, kung sino. Lahat ng bumabalik kong view, sobrang natutuwa ako. And sobrang, sobrang saya ako. And kita nyo naman na pag nakita ko kayo, sobrang ang, saya, ang saya-saya ako. Um, yeah, that I feel so much happiness and joy. And I feel like streaming is something that's worth doing. And I have, I have them to be so grateful for. So, yeah. Wow. So yeah, that's something that is really inspiring. That's why I, to all our viewers, um, this uh actually my page is more of a, a blog like some 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 sort. So it's it's a mixture of uh, different mm-hmm. content. But I really wanted to get to know more of like streamers like Anna, and yeah, it's not really simple to really have those. You know, sometimes you know, yung, yung isang kahit isang viewer lang. Na, na parang na, napakasaya. So ito, my next question is, was there a time in your streaming, parang streaming career, your streaming career, na you felt a, a bit sad or lonely na parang uh, since earlier I mentioned you have supporters. And then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, alam mo yung drop yung viewership mo oh, at okay. some point, down to, ikaw na lang talaga yung stream Like you yourself and me myself and I kumbaga nangyari and then how did you handle that na parang um uh, parang di ba sometimes na, nandun tayo sa peak ng ating um mm. kumbaga kung sa ano pa sa mga artists pa mga actors and actresses nandun tayo sa uh, we're at the peak of our of um famedom tama ba? tama ba yung aking term? or uh, <laughs> tama ba? Yeah. Uh, kumbaga uh, our, our yung nandun tayo sa peak ng ating career and all of a sudden boom so, like Uh, uh, a moment na parang bigla na lang talaga. first day zero mm-hmm. the second day one and then balik zero and then uh, how did you how did you handle that like was there a time mm-hmm. and then how did you handle that um in instance mm-hmm. yeah i guess that happens for every year but to me hindi ko masyadong inisip i mean kung maniniwala man kayo hindi hindi ko talaga ini kasi hindi ko talaga inakala una-una hindi ko inakala na may papansin talaga sa akin tsaka nagsimula ako na walang gaano yung na, 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 nanonood sa akin actually sometimes wala talaga noon nung una and uh, for me kasi the moments that i ha- i had like peak peak views oh, peak views were like um I had so many rude comments and I and then it really it really negates the energy of my stream. Oh. And I would much rather have it that like only a couple of people watching and then I don't really get like a I guess a, a nasty comment cuz no. I remember before when I would get like a lot of views I would get I mean a lot for me for for I don't know in my standard which is pretty low. Um <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I guess I would much rather have it that I don't get too many views that rather than I make a mistake or someone wants me to do something bad and you know I I try to think of like you know what's what's good about it I tr- really try to be positive and and you know there's always gonna be days that's you know sometimes you're up sometimes you're down so. Like yeah, it's not it's thing. not Christmas every day, kumbaga. It's yeah, not it's, it's something ephemeral. So streaming is not really, yeah. I, again, it's just a hobby for me. Um, it's something that distresses me, and yeah, I don't really. 
Yeah. <laughs> parang, <laughs> parang, naging, parang, parang naging hugot lang tayo bigla dito. But yeah, yeah. like seriously, um, especially the nasty comments. Or sometimes you, you have like, um, because we got a lot of like different, um, uh, let's say, demographics in our stream. And mm-hmm. I think I was, I also witnessed one of those hate comments. And then a lot of like your supporters also um, mentioned that during your stream, like, um, please don't do that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then it's something that's really, um, to all our viewers, to all our viewers, that is something that we really have to look that's into. That's part of it. That's part of it. That's know? part of it. It's really yeah. something that, um, how do you, how do I, I word it? It's really something saddening, considering that, um, and alarming at some point. Because sometimes when you, when you review the, the profile, uh, did you do that? Did you um have that instance like um you just diba, after reviewing your stream and then you 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 read a nasty comment and then you tried to mm-hmm. review um the profile of that person and then suddenly you found out that he's a he's a family man or let's say he uh-huh. has a girlfriend or something ganyan. Um, how did uh, did you ever had the thought of um correcting that person? I mean, um, there was after- one person. But then you know it's all I don't want to be resentful. I really don't like being resentful. I, I I forgive them, but of course I don't forget. Pero I guess yung talagang lesson learned for me dapat hinahayaan lang talaga. Kasi most of them they don't really have like a profile. Most of them are I'm like trolling. hiding. They're, they're like trolling talaga and that's really it's really funny. It's really shameful if ever they do have a profile and then they say those things or like they they, you know, no, they do those I mean, I mean, their their last name is there, and whatever picture they have there, and why would you put yourself in that position to to say something bad about someone? Ako hindi ako makasalita ng ganon. Ewan ko kung bakit yung iba nakaka they have the strength to to say those. Really, things. Yeah, like really hate comments yeah. or something like indecent comments. No, like ako and, I mean, and I always keep in mind it's not about you. It's about it's about them. They're probably insecure. They're probably because what you hate about somebody is what you hate about yourself. I really believe that. That if people say something really uh, negative to you, it's it's because they're insecure about their self and they're just trying to mend their own insecurity by lowering themselves down, by lowering yourself down. But I always try to. I guess one of one of the things I read in like a self help book. It's the people who hate on you are actually the people who are below you. So. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> something nice. That's something nice. That I think that's I'm going to take that into account as well. And really, um, if you could re- read some of the comments, especially Kina Vinel, Kina Eman, and you know a lot of your supporters as well are here. Thank you so much. And um, just by reading their their um, later on we'll be reading some of your comments as well. Sorry, we apologize since this is a continuous, you know, um, live talk, and then it's more of um, you're watching a talk show. Parang ganon yung ano. Uh, we'll be reading them on the third part uh, by eleven, hopefully. So now um, you mentioned yun, tiba na parang some people are so nasty or sometimes. Yung sino pa yung 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 below you, yun pa yung may guts na parang alam mo yun, yung, yung they, they really wanted to I don't know if they they wanted just to troll you or um mm. people just wanted attention. Was there a time for example your your ex troll turn mm. you turn them someone as as a better person or did you ever had that thought? That's why I asked na um was there a moment where there's a uh, a person who commented something indecent or rude or disrespectful, you tried to correct that, and then ho- uh, some, some, um, somewhere in the middle or some, some day, he realized or she realized that what she did was wrong, and then all of a sudden, you know, made amends to her or his um, mistakes, and then became one of your uh, valuable supporters. Um, not that I can recall though, because I don't really keep in contact. With, I mean, sometimes uh, yeah. they're just, they're just, they just pass by, you know? No. And I just want to say, like, I am I think it's something for myself also because I'm so sensitive. I'm really, I'm really such a sensitive person. And that's because I'm also sensitive about what others feel. You know what I mean? 
And I really, I, this really made me stronger, I guess. And again, we have to take it objectively. Maybe this comment will, would help me. And there are people out there. I always think about there are people out there who get like the worst comments and they, and they can go through it. And that it means that I can go through it as well, you know, because right. they, That's they get, just they get nice. so much wor worse, like hate comments and so uh, yeah, I just, death mm -hmm. threats sometimes. Like you uh, know, like I've read like some of the like famous streamers in these proposals. Mm -hmm. Sometimes like um like kung sa K-pop ano pa K-pop fandom or you alam yung mga mga rabid stance quote and unquote yung mga sasing na talaga to the level na I know where you are yung may magano na mga feelings if ever that will happen to you um uh, was there a, a time na uh, oi knock on the wood I mean let me rephrase that sorry na, na ano ako na excited no it's okay no it's okay. I understood I understood no, okay. um how did um was there a time in in, in in your streaming career, kasi career na natin to, um, that you have this fear of, you know, because your viewership or your your fan fan base is growing, na magkaroon na mga ganun, like all of a sudden people would be um, investing so much because they are expecting something in return. Was there a time na um, you thought of that and then? Yes. How did you handle or okay. what what did you do after? There were, but I just again just try not to take it too seriously. Try not to mind it. Um I guess the best the best way is try not to mind it. You know, if people I think it's understood that when you give something, you know, it's meant to be you know, because you want to give it and not because you want something in return. But I do, again, I do as much as possible to give back to all the people who support me. And, and I think people, my, my, the people who, who watch me can, can assert to that, that I do, I do do my best to give back. And I do show that I do care about the people. And yeah, I don't think they have a reason. Anybody has the reason to say that to me, I guess. Um, yeah, I really do my best, and they know that I do care about them, and I do love the people who support me. And sometimes I'm really hesitant with the word, you know, influencer, streamer, and like people or like fan, because I didn't think again, I didn't think of it. And yeah, the, the people there are fam, fam rather, fam, and I think fam really rather. Fam. So yeah, That's nice though. I've always grown up. You know, idolizing others. I never think that anybody would. I mean, not I, not idolize, but I've always been a fan of others, like my artista, of course. But I never thought that anybody would be like a fan of me or like, I don't know. Yeah, so, I hope you, I hope you get what I mean. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. actually, that, that's the gist of it. And um, ito follow up question don since you mentioned like the fam famdom yeah that's that's yeah. something nice dapat i ano natin yan no we yeah. we we promote that like hey hey what's up fam like because we really wanted to treat our um you know supporters as not mere you know alam mo yun sometimes they they would feel na parang since they are top supporter top you know, alam mo yun, the badge system then sometimes would have a negative um connotation or sometimes negative ad or uh, let's say a disadvantage because mm -hmm. they would somehow use that as a bragging right to mm -hmm. oh tignan mo stop ano ako supporter ako or ano ba yung mga whatever badges pero nakaka proud ng yan sa ating pokemon fans if we get the bad gym badge <laughs> pero sometimes we have those certain supporters quote and unquote or yung mga mga stands na alam mo naging ano sila they 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 tend to 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 fight over fight over you para have you ever had that experience na na ako la ako lang ang 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 ako ang number one fan ni Anna parang ganon I'm the I'm the only person for example sabihin natin ako lang talaga yung ano yung may karapatan na makausap si Anna pero siguro wala wala nang siguro siguro ano lang joke joke lang ganon pero walang wala naman ganon Walang ano to, to the extent of very extreme na. Wala naman. Ano lang, joke-joke lang. Parang ganun. So, wala naman. So, here's my next question because um earlier we mentioned that 
um, there are so certain things that you handle the stress. You mentioned al- also that you have this certain an- anxiety. Yes. Um, when that happened during the stream, or was there a time that it occurred? Because uh, I myself are, I, I, I myself are, I myself is also experiencing anxiety sometimes. Like, <laughs> I mean, too stress, and then you think of too much too much or like the problems are are stacking up and then all of a sudden you just you know snap and then how did you how did you manage that um during steam was there an an instance or was there an incident in one of your streams that you you had an anxiety attack and how did you manage or you handle that if i were to be honest almost actually i can say every day i always get an anxiety attack um because i'm not used to it before starting i would get anxiety and sometimes in in stream i would get anxiety and i would start having like panic attacks i would start like cha- my mood would change and that's just really that's something i have to work on in all honesty I, i'm a work in progress um yeah i always get an exact and uh, panic attacks and are you asking me how I, how I should deal with it? Am I right? Yeah, or um, or how how did you manage? Or um, um was there any initial, uh, for example, um, if this hap if this happens again, um, yeah. since since it's a work in progress, like uh-huh. hypothetically or something that uh, uh-huh. how would you how did you or for example the first time that it happened, how did you handle it? How did I handle? It? Um, I truly really tried to cool, like let myself cool and not not say. I try not to curse, but sometimes the papa curse the whole to just release the tension. But then I, I really don't want to curse on screen because it's so bad. Um <laughs> for me. Um I don't wanna show that p- to people and I guess I tr- really true tr- I try to breathe in, breathe out. I try to drink water, I try to um I guess I try to have a focus group, like like maybe Emma and maybe Vanilla, if, if they're there, or Noni, Ryan, they're like my focus group. And then Aww. that kind of makes me calm. And and just, you know, there are people that support you. Just just do your best. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, I just, again, I really do, do try to pray before the stream. And I guess maybe that really helps with anxiety and, and the tension. In- uh, so something something that you 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 do so that's really nice especially um your gro- your channel or let's say channel let's say your your fandom your family is really growing like your won't break your heart your heartbreakers here's my next question um what what is your um have you ever thought of a um supporter name Parang, you know if your fandom your family sabihin ba dati the heartbreakers ano di ba normally fans na, mga, ano, di ba y- we have like k-pop fans they they create like um the ano tawag niyan the the groups uh, yung fan base they, they they create names for example ako i'm I, i'm a vip kung makita niyo diyan i have my light stick diyan sa likod ng big bang and oh. yun, yun. Uh, pero wala akong battery so diyan na muna siya. Hindi lang ako klaro. Pero yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan so we call ourselves as VIP very important persons to Big Bang. So, have you ever thought of that na parang because one of these days or one of these days about uh, ang benchmark natin or sometimes hindi naman benchmark. Our goal no, normally since alam mo nagkakaroon tayo ng goal na para we we're going to have like 10,000 supporters and then diba sa atin we're going to have our finally our supporter page or yung supporters group i think diba yeah. may supporter yeah. group tayo so yeah. have you ever thought of a a, a name a name or i pa? haven't thought of a name but my group and my discord uh group they're like won't play our fam like i don't know maybe they can create one maybe the people there the people who help me in pokemon um can think of a more creative um name but yeah <laughs> I, I I don't have one right now. <laughs> uh, that's that's is something that um that's very you know exciting to know someday someday and malay natin that will be next month already because you know your 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 pace are you know going off the roof. So it uh, here's my next question in you know it's still in relation with how do you handle um your your stream? Have you ever had this you, um 
instance or experience of comparing yourself after seeing a lot of streamers sometimes oh, yeah. have you ever had you, you, alam mo, you when you see them it's like bakit sila Kumbaga, let's say the same content the same content you, oh, this person is also playing um playing pokemon let's say you're I... you're streaming the, the same thing and then have you ever had this you know certain feel of um ano ba yun? the right term alam mo yung jealousy sometimes or parang something that you na, bakit kaya niya how comes this streamer is mo, more popular than i but we're doing the same thing have you ever had that um experience uh, and how did you handle that not with anyone in the pokemon community no not any one of the pokemon streams i'm always so happy for the i support them so much and no no none of the pokemon streams. i just want to say that none of the pokemon streams. i'm so happy for them well, to support them do everything and i guess Oh oh, kasi ako that's why hindi ko natitingnan masyado yung sino sino follow, sino follow, follow, follow sa akin. Hindi ko natitingnan. Tas yung sa comment section, yung sa monitor ko, yung comment section lang nakalagay sa akin. Para hindi ko naisipin. First of all, um I guess hmm, nagkasi. Hindi naman masyad kasi because there's always going to be someone better than you. And I already kept that in mind. There's always going to be someone prettier than you, um, good at games than you, and everything. And what I try to do, I really try to, you know, think about what I'm con I'm what I'm what what makes me different, what makes me um what makes me so worthy of of what I have. You know what I mean? Like I try to be grateful, kait na maybe di ganun kadae, ganun okay lang. Kasi naisip ko kasi hindi talaga hindi ko talaga inakala na talagang again I, I, I put, put it ulit ako para kung para ko sirang plaka never what I kinala na kahit man lang siguro 10 viewers ganoon na, na manonood sa akin so yun pero kung tatangin ako oh nagsiselos din ako sino bang hindi di ba na intimidate ka pero I, at the end of the day I choose to be you know positive I, I choose to be, I want to help them also. And maybe, I always, when you know, especially when I was young, um, I, I think all of us experience those emotions, like getting jealous. But then as I've aged, I told myself, ano kayang magagawa ko na, ano, what can I learn about this person that I can apply to myself? And nawawala na yung pagka selos. Tsaka I always make up, if ever mang selos ka sa iba, huwag kang, Wag kang magsasalita ng masama. Wag kang, alam mo yun, like do something positive. In fact, most of the people who I a little bit jealous are my best friends. Oh, oh, oh. Are oh. there streamers as well? Oh, no, no. Um, hmm. Ano sa sabihin ko? Best friend ko talaga. Best friend ko talaga college. Ah, Oo. okay. So, you, you can get jealous. Eh. Tsaka tulungan lang. Kung, Kung lahat lang, pocket lang lahat kayo sa taas, lahat lang, di ba? Like, sab- like, tulungan lang kayo. And I really believe in the saying that there's enough room for everyone in the table. Hindi ako naniwal na kailangan mo mang... Mang, mang hila. Like mang, you pull some... Oh, mang, mang, ano, mang... I don't believe in, like, you have to... You have to you you have to down a person like you have to bring them down so that you can go up. No, it doesn't work that way. For me, everyone's interconnected. Everyone can help each other to 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 um to lift themselves up, whether it's about streaming or in life in general. I don't believe in like getting ahead, to getting manipulating someone to get ahead. I I don't believe in that. I really believe in like everyone. There's room for everyone at the table, and that's how I was able to I guess manage if ever i had those emotions about someone emotions. and i really i really don't yeah <laughs> that's okay. that's actually that's really something that's um mm-hmm. really nice to know especially for example we have a shout out to um emma and vanel mm-hmm. you, you know your focus group um buddies john mm-hmm. and you know uh, we have um christopher as well who also mentioned that it's really okay and just like what you mentioned it's really nice to sometimes we we, we rechannel the this yeah. fear or this hindi naman siya fear this feeling kasi when you when you remember it inside out ito mm-hmm. talaga yung isa sa mga inspiration ko din with this life talk is that mm-hmm. how how can we 
handle those different emotions that really part of hum, uh, human existence or diba, we, we really have to handle fear we really have to handle disgust um see yung anger natin or hatred um sadness or loneliness and then yung yung happiness or joy natin so um that's why that's the reason why i asked that question is that um my moment kasi din talaga na when you see someone or na parang mm-hmm. uh, very successful yes na parang we 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 feel down at some point so gusto ko din malaman because i i i already felt that last year alam mo yung i started <laughs> i started as a small streamer parang alam mo yung i tried to copy umabot ako sa point i i, I came to this point in in my um, gaming career that i really tried to have this um facade just mm-hmm. to, to to gain the views just to oh, gain I get, those, you. I get you because i I, I, really, i really wanted to to hasten things up because i wanted to be very popular oh. immediately That's so okay. it's really something that um it's helpful hearing from fellow streamers as well that mm-hmm. how how did you handle that and how how did you manage those um instances in your in your career. And now, um it's already 41 minutes so uh, we'll be continuing the question. So here's something that um a lot of us um experience nowadays. Mm-hmm. Uh, was there a moment that you just wanted to stop streaming? Oh And yeah. Then, yeah. How did you handle that? Like for example, <laughs> Ah, and it's getting it's getting routinary it's getting alam mo it's getting boring or it's getting something not um sparking our interest anymore actually i, I just want to add to the previous question um i think it's really important with everything that you do in life you come with pure intentions not because you want to be famous and that's what i well, that's what i had in mind ever since i knew though it was just for fun And I didn't really think much of it. So I think, honestly, the more that hindi mo iniisip, the more that you're just, uh, that you're, you you have, you know, you know yourself, you know your 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 intuition and your good intentions, kusa lang, kusa lang siyang maging okay. Kusa lang siyang, siguro, uh, for me, I don't know, I don't know what to, ayoko mabate, pero, no, the moments where I didn't really care about it that much were the moments that, But I was so shocked about, you know, getting people following me or something. So I don't know how to how to explain without seeming so entitled. I don't know. I don't know. I hope I don't sound entitled to anybody. But yeah, I just want to share right. that. And then to your question, um, sorry, it was a <laughs> yeah. The, um, pero that, that's a, that's something really nice mm-hmm. to that you added that um yun din talaga yung yun na realize ko when when 2020 before 2021 started uh, i i made a commitment to myself one of my plans in my whiteboard is that um just like you just like other streamer friends that i have um to really do what made us you know makes us happier um contented and at the same time fulfilled and to inspire other people that's why it's mm-hmm. really something that i i admire from you from you from other streamers as well who share the same sentiments and you mm-hmm. know passion and compassion in 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 life so now the question was i remember, uh, I remember now i remember now. <laughs> um yeah there were times that i wanted to stop actually i was so getting i was getting really really fed up with dead by the mobile and it can be kind of <laughs> It's a PvP game, so it can be pretty toxic sometimes. Um, I decided to stop it, and alongside that, I had a seminar that time, and I was kind of busy. Uh, and then so that that was the time when when nag 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 isip ako magstream kaya ako ng Pokemon. Medyo alam ko naman yung alam niya ako kasi nung bata ako magstream lang kaya ako para Light-hearted lang. Ayoko isipin na, alam mo yun, kailangan ko maging rank one sa Dead by Daylight. Alam mo yun, kasi nakaka-stress talaga yung mga competitive na games. And, <laughs> medyo nasasad, nasasad na ako nun kasi parang hindi na ako masayas. Sawang-sawa na ako sa kanya. <laughs> Sawang-sawa na ako sa Dead by Daylight Mobile. And, yun, naisip ko mag-Pokemon. Tapos tinanong ko yung kuya ko, pwede kaya mag-stream ng Pokemon? Sabi niya, try mo, pero 
wag mo laruin yung luma. Laruin mo yung, yung mga, yung may kulay. <laughs> yung yun. <laughs> I didn't think that anybody was streaming emulator games. That's why medyo na surprise lang. Akala ko, talagang walang manonood talaga sa akin. Tapos yun, ganun lang. Talagang fate talaga. Talagang, talagang fate. Talagang, actually, intuition ko yung sinunod ko. Sabi ko mag-stream kaya ako, okay lang kahit hindi ako panurin. Basta, easy going ako. Wala akong negative emotions. Wala, hindi ako nagtitilt. Yun. Oh, enjoy, oh, enjoy lang. <laughs> like, I, I, you know, um, so the question is, are you very, uh, are you a competitive gamer? Um, yes or I no? I can be, but not really. When not I'm anymore. More, not anymore, kasi ayoko na mag, nakaka-stress kasi mo sometimes mag dead by daylight. Nakaka-tilt siya. Nakaka-tilt siya ng slight, like most competitive games. And there are times where some of the comments would affect me. <laughs> well, then, about, about DVD, like, for for instance, I don't know. Like sometimes, you know what? I sometimes I play. Never mind that. Na wala na train of thought ko jan. So ma na na affect na in time sa train of thought ko. Anyways, I, I so, I'm sorry for that. No no no, it's okay. Go go on go on. Actually, that's really something mm-hmm. um interesting, especially um as gamers you think you guys you ask like uh, as gamers was there a time like to really have your a game like i'm going to be the very best i mean yun yung yeah. yung yung train of thought ko then before na just like ash ketchum he wanted to be the very best pero mm-hmm. um what did you do in really being in your a game what are the things that you really do um, to really be in your A game without compromising, you know, your your yourself, your your mental health, okay. or your your your, your, your game mismo? Or your, sometimes, di ba, na, nakaka, like for example, Dota or Counter Strike yeah. or like PVP, real time PVP games, like in different platforms, um, di ba nakakatil talaga yan? Or it's something that diminishes the 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 passion because you really just want to to crush the other team be, just to be the number one so um w- w- were you a competitive gamer and you ha- um what did you do after feeling that sense of um achievement that i'm number one i'm number one <laughs> ganun. um there was a time when i reached rank one and dead by daylight um i did feel like oh galing, galing ko. <laughs> but then to be honest, I really had help by my friends who helped me get there. Uh, and I guess I try not actually when I reached rank one, parang I became so tired of the game. Like, whoa. like what's there? No, I was like, what's there to achieve? And I know, I know it sounds bad. I know, I know. I am <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. But but- the game is not working on my phone anymore. And yeah, that's I, I got so t- sick and tired of it. I guess. I mean, I, I know that there are players out there who are so amazing in Dead by Daylight. I mean, I'm not I I you can't even compare me to them. They're really good. But when I achieve that, like I feel like like I know I was like I can actually be good at this game. <laughs> So yeah. you're, a, you're 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 a fan of um I think that's uh F- horror FPS horror FPS if I'm uh, not horror mistaken. shop parang horror survival game ah okay so you just yeah. have to to hide or something I think I I I, I think I downloaded that before per sa sa alam mo sa sobrang dami mo mga editor's Uh-oh. choice na mga games that ah, I wanna try this I wanna try that and then urges yung original platform sa PC mm-hmm. pero yun nga alam mo sometimes pang stream ako Kung ano pa yung banu yung yung banu gaming ko nasa <laughs> tapos kung pag magisa lang ako off stream ang galing parang alam mo yun, yeah, yun, yeah, yun, yeah, yun, yeah, exactly <laughs> alam mo yun, parang you, you wanted to uh, so ito here's my next question um in relation to that having this sense of achievement um did it um Kumbaga, did it come in your 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 daily life now or after after achieving number one but you, you mentioned you, after achieving number one um kumbaga, did you level up that that feeling na parang ayo ko lang number one i want to be global i want to be um better than mm-hmm. others pa 
No. Kasi pa, di ba parang alam mo, you, you're too hype up na I I I really wanted to showcase how how good I am in this game. Um no no man, but I just want to say that I really am like practicing Pokemon and I really do want to be able I know that it sounds like a I don't know, it sounds impossible, but I really do want to be better in Pokemon. I'm not really thinking about whether I should be like number 1 or anything. Because I know that I can't reach that. Like, I try to be realistic about myself. And, yeah, I, I, I try to keep my expectations low. Because I know that it's so... Like, I don't know, there's really... The amount of time those people really gave... Like, they gave it... They gave everything. They started, like, early on. Unlike myself, who, who started taking Pokemon seriously later in life. So I really don't think, I don't know, I, I, I don't really think, think that I'm competitive in that in that sense. But I really do want to be decent in PvP. I, I, I honestly say, so, <laughs> Pokemon PvP. So I really want to be better at it. I mean, I, I, yeah, mm -hmm. like especially with, because um, a, a lot of people, especially to the, our viewers who are not fan of Pokemon or who was not really hook or uh, let's say introduced to pokemon since you know we know that um, pokemon before like earlier in the 90s or late 90s or early 2000s parang ano yun eh that's a that's a luxurious um hobby to have a game boy before alam mo parang yan lang talang gusto ko graduation gift pokemon um game boy and everything mm -hmm. so now that we have all the platforms to really play that um since pap paparating uh, uh, have you um or have you heard of the news about having a pvp like a moba pokemon game but i think that was released last year that there's i never, I never for, knew that i it's just a, knew about like competitive you know like trading card games and like the of course the sword and shield uh competitive Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But when when the PVP uh mobile uh MOBA or it's like a I don't know Mobile Legends na five versus five or three versus five na Pokemon game, will you be streaming? Parang ganun, uh, would you be streaming that? Considering that you you don't want to to play the same the dials at day by yeah. daylight na, or DBD na, na yeah. experience mo. Um, if that will come and then you will start streaming that, will you still have that um? same sentiment na no I, i'm just gonna enjoy this considering that you know it's a moba it's going to be really competitive and tight i think i do think about it sometimes i do uh con i am considering like playing other games and i really want to be a variety uh variety gamer streamer but it does honestly because i'm i'm kind of it made me so interested in pokemon that i didn't know a lot of it and most of my viewers knew more than me and that really sparked my curiosity and i really wanted to learn more so that's the reason why i'm very i guess hindi pa ako nasasawa so to mm. speak. and i know that there's so many you know pokemon it's so it's not just the game the game boys or rom hacks you can do shiny hunts you can do like challenges and you can do if ever I get a switch one day, you can play. I can play there. So I really oh, see no. that there's so much more to Pokemon for for me. And again, I don't really know a lot, unlike most of my viewers. So I really learn, and that 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 really sparks my interest. Okay, just so we're nearing the. Um, uh, mm -hmm. I think it's going to be eleven by uh, six mm -hmm. minutes from now. So shout out to our viewers. Thank you so much for um, commenting. So just keep on commenting. So here's my um, I think that this is going to be the last question for this um, portion of handling stress as a gamer or a streamer. So um, since you're you're really invested in Pokemon and you mentioned earlier a, a lot of experiences in dealing with your anxiety as a streamer and you know experiences with with your viewers um now that um it's still we, we still don't have any um idea when will this stop you know the pandemic so how do you how, how would you um 
continue continue the stream um what are the other um things that we will be kumbaga, looking forward to sa, sa stream mo um hmm wait you're you're asking wait sorry you're asking me what um Sabog na ako. <laughs> ako din eh, para wait lang ha. Para, parang mali ato yung question ko. Ito, uh, let me rephrase that. Um, considering that um game now, um, ito pala yung question ko mali. That's supposed to be for the third part. <laughs> Yun yung sa, sa latter part. Sorry, um, just erase that. Sorry sa viewers natin. Thank you so much for um, co- um comment. May nag-PPM din kasi sa akin ng, ng uh, question. So, this is my question. Oh my God, katapot. Ano ba yan? Oh, ang daming question. So, nahihiya kasi sila mga friends ko din. And then, alam mo naman, um, they don't want to be broadcasted din. Pero, um, ito, this is the question from my friend, um, Paolo. He, he wanted to ask, um, is, is, video gaming or streaming um, a stress reliever for you at this yeah. time? Yes, and definitely. And why? Like 100%, 100%. I think that video games were created as as a pastime so that you can, it, it's a form of escapism uh, where you just wanna, I mean, that's why a lot of people play games so that they can, they can forget about reality for a bit. They can, they can it's, it's a way for them to feel better. And yeah, I think we all need that in our lives. Like just just as we all need like a holiday, we all need a break. That's Correct. the same uh the same way as gaming. Mhm. Correct. You you did you know uh, that's one of the things that uh I also enjoyed about or really passionate about gaming. Mm-hmm. Sometimes um I think we share the same sentiment in terms of you know competitive gaming because um mm-hmm. I myself is a <laughs> let's say um MLBB player so shout out to all, um MLBB fans there and um I also started casting like shout casting in that game as well because uh, oh, uh, 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 hopefully in the future uh I'll, I'll train more same as you uh the sad thing about you know po- me being a self proclaimed pokemon master is that I was stuck at the uh third generation during the time of you know leaf green oh. um emerald ruby ruby um ja- uh, ruby stage of pokemon and after that because you know i've been busy with life and then you know um the storyline of pokemon has been you know naging uh, as what our viewers had been mentioning earlier nag- minsan naging repetitive minsan naging repetitive siya at some point na parang um Send you direction ni, ni Ash Ketchum, you know, okay. but later on I will be asking that about book. <laughs> I will discuss that someday in a different ano parang let's talk about Pokemon the series siguro. Uh, because I'm I'm going to start wa- rewatching Pokemon first episode down to the wow. recent episode. Like yun yung gusto ko ano I really wanted to be um a, an invested Pokemon um pokemon fan uh, because uh, one of the people that i really admire is ash ketchum kaya nga diba self proclaimed akong ash and then people will be asking you oh, why ash and then my real name so salito and then san, san si ash um wala lang yung 1998 feel ko lang maging ash ketchum kaya i i called myself ash and that's the story behind ash <laughs> yun lang para ganun ako ano ganun ako ka- hindi naman weird um th- that's the reason <laughs> that's how um a fan i am or i was up until now i am of ash ketchum and the pokemon series because it's something that it's inspiring you know promoting friendship promoting um that's true uh, friendly compet uh, co- uh, friendly competition rather competition competition so it's two minutes before we hit 11 um we're you're still here with us anna de luna aka won't play your heart three <laughs> For, hindi ko pa rin talaga mag-guess bakit may three. Baka may first. Yung one, yung kuya mo. My brother. Or, my brother. Uh, brother mo yung one. Tapos yung two. Yung isa ba yung did, brother? So yung, oh, my brother added the three. Because um, he was born 1993. He's a basketball fan. Three. Alan Iverson, three. So, I don't know. <laughs> Iverson. Alan Iverson. Like, um... Maybe, maybe. Uh, ah, okay. Maybe so, at, uh, yeah. So y- yun yung ano yun yung reason na number so ikaw yung number 3 lang. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I will um we'll just have another short break siguro mga oh, 1 to 2 minutes sanity I break. Ah uh, yun then we need if my brain is already fogging like <laughs> mid mid of the conversation so I'm really sorry guys. 
No, it's okay. Actually, I, I, I get that a lot of times as well. Sometimes when I do um streaming, sometimes I because I don't have like a, you know, I don't have like your OBS something. But later on we'll be discussed. So um, it's already so the you know, clock. I have plenty of clocks here, but I'm just watching the one clock. Um, it's already um eleven. So we'll be right back after a short break. You're still here with us with Life Talk with AB and my special guest Anna. Hello, bye bye. Be right. Bye bye. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. And we're back again, guys. Our time is three minutes uh, past 11. You're still here with me, AB. With Life Talk with AB, only here on my official <laughs> official page at Ash Bulldog Dragon 89. And still here with me, the ever so posh and sassy, goofy Anna, the Luna, aka Won't Play Your Heart 3. So this is uh, the last portion of Life Talk. And this is normally, hindi siya clincher level. Yung, yung middle level lang talaga, yung very... Um, alam mo yun yung very difficult. Thought provoking. Oh, thought provoking. <laughs> Kasi, I got to explain ako din. Sorry, okay. sorry. <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, let me fix my my eyebrows. Pero yeah, uh, mm. yun din talaga yung ano. Um, normally I I I I yung yung platform ko is 
let's get to know the person sa first part. The second part would be the thought-provoking. Alam niyo yung, yung kung sa ano pa sa movie pa yan, that's the rising action. Yung kumbaga doon yung, yung climax ng ano, nung discussion. So now, we're nearing the end of our discussion. But now, this is going to be the part kung saan we will be asking you um, questions from, from our viewers and at the same okay. time, um, mga um, mga things that they have already uh, mentioned earlier. But yung kanila dito na, when I was um, when we had the break, I, I was trying to review the the comments of Vanel, Emmanuel, um, you know our mga fellow ano natin mga Pokemon fans, and they're mm-hmm. so uh, it's really it's, alam yung heartwarming to see that they are so genuine to really you know to to tell how they feel about mm-hmm. you streaming yung and to all our viewers, don't worry, this will be reposted sa, sa official page ko and mm-hmm. also sa YouTube channel ko. Just because this is going to be a, um, uh, this is something that I will be very proud of. And I'm so proud of doing to really um, talking because communication is something that we really need right now at this time. And I'm so honored and happy to have our, my very first guest this year, no other than the very, sabi, uh, yeah, the very pretty, oh, <laughs> pretty and sassy and um, game talaga na, ano, na, na si, si Anna. Now, let's now ask you a question about um, post, ano na, post handling the stress. So, what are the, the action plans that you have for this year? Kumbaga, um, it's the new year. What are your, uh, have you ever had a, or have you already um lay down your 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 kubaga um bucket Resolute. list this year or resolutions or mga life goals for this year. Sabi na this year lang muna. We, I don't want to try three to five years from now. Um let's stick with the ano muna, this year. Um any plans that you have already I know um, well I um hmm. well again like I said before I don't like to tell people what what my because I really wanted to materialize first before I say it. Mm-hmm. And again, I guess to say in general, my, my goals are solely, I guess, for my health and for the stream. I hope that, you know, I, I do get better at streaming and I hope that, you know, I really, I, I really, I really want to be more consistent with the stream. So. That's my oh, okay. that's the new year's resolution that I can say I want to be more consistent. Um if my internet allows me, I hope so and and my mood. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um how how often do you, do you stream by it? In in a week how how often do you stream? Um well I stopped for I think a week last last week and I yeah, I really want to stream daily, honestly. I really want to stream daily. But it's so difficult to crunch time, so yeah. Like how, how do you, so? Here's my next question: How do you handle like um in a daily um? Is it okay to ask this? What is your your um, um normally your daily schedule? I don't really have a schedule because ah, you don't follow this. I work, yeah, I work. I work free freelance, and if ever something happens, like to the house or something. God forbid. Um, like, um, if ever something, because I'm in the house, and then, um, hmm, too, I'll just say it. It's it's a little bit too personal, but you know, my lola, because yun yung inaalala ko, because baka biglang may mangyari sa kanya, tas nag-stream ako. Kaya ako nag-stop muna. Kaya pa stop-stop ako. Kasi yun nga. And then, again, my my job is a little bit Demanding. Like, kahit, kahit hawak ko oras ko, sometimes baka may tumawag sa akin or something. So, sometimes, mm. kasi sometimes ay ng kliyente na parang late ka na mag-reply or something. So, it's really hard for me to crunch time. And I am, again, I am a little bit moody. Kahit, sometimes kahit kaya ko pa mag-stream, kahit super late, like, I do get, like, oh, I'm, I feel I feel kind of tired or I feel, like, I'm, in, I'm not in a mess mood today and I don't want to, you know, make like sometimes I re- this is something I learned. Pag BB ka wag ka mag stream. Kasi ayo kung idama sa iba na na yung negative na na vibe. I don't want it to 
to translate. To resonate. That, or to, to, yeah, to, to resonate the tent, exactly. So I really try to keep in mind that I need to be in good mood. But then again, it kind of it kind of conflicts with me being consistent. So with with that being said, I really try to keep in mind that, oh, like I really have to do my best for the people who who support me, who watch me. I really have to be in my A game. And it's a constant, it's it's definitely like a work, I'm a work in progress, so yeah. Mm -hmm. That's something nice. Uh, actually, that's something that I could really relate to. Like whenever you're in a bad mood, it's not mm -hmm. the best time to really, yeah, especially true. for example, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a competitive gamer. Um, mm -hmm. And one, just to share, I, I, I had a, let's say, um, someone that also plays Mobile Legends. So mm -hmm. it affected our relationship before because I'm, I, I'm always wanting to win. You know, that's kind of com competitiveness mm -hmm. in me. And to the extent that um, I also live stream during that time. And then we fought because, you know, I'm the tank in Mobile Legends. And then she was, uh, uh, yeah, she was like the... Um, uh, I tank her, I protect her, and then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. I wanted to, you know, please do your 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 A game, and then yeah. we were in a bad mood, and then I was streaming all all four hours, and then yeah. you know, with with uh, without knowing that I already compromised myself, her, mm -hmm. and you know the game game atmosphere, and also the viewers heard those, and then that's the reason why I I I didn't pursue streaming less couple of years but I, I always wanted to you know to do the streaming because i you know i had a gadget like the simple gadget the phone mm -hmm. like internet like yeah. the simple gadgets that mm -hmm. um that, that you could make you start um streaming yeah so um that's something that's really nice to know and mm -hmm. one of the things that i i will really uh, put in mind and to all our viewers as well that um never never if you're in a bad mood just you know um think of yourself first and then yeah. There's always a next day. That's something mm -hmm. um, valuable because it's. Alam mo yun yun. nakakaano tayo eh. It it resonates sometimes, and then people can see that from us. And then ang ang hindi na pangit. Yung pero that that moment that they will see us. Na parang uh, are you okay? And then we'll get we'll get cranky. Have you ever had that experience? You you oh, got more. yeah. Got I cranky. do. And then, I see, in my case, know? I'm a girl and. PMS is real. <laughs> yeah. And I guess I always try to be professional because, you know, you, you really, I do, you know, recently I really start to think, oh, this is a job. I have to be professional to the people. I have to be, you know, it's so, I, this is something that I learned. It's so difficult for people to enjoy if you're having like a, like a, like a hard time and, and, yeah, that's something that I learned, and that's something that's my mistake. And I would have people, especially my people who support me, would tell me that, which I'm thankful for, that they're honest with me, so that I know what to improve on. And yeah, mm -hmm. all right, that's that's something um nice to to take into consider consideration. Yeah, and especially for the yeah, bedroom. yeah, and you know, like PMS is real. I, I saw flying phones before. You know, I saw flying Five. phones. <laughs> I wait, sorry. Hey, na ako na ano na noon. No, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. And of course, um, there's a funny thing that happened now. Like my secondary phone just opened. Like, I don't know. I, I think I'm just gonna show you guys because it's so funny. I was so shocked. Look, uh, look what happened to my phone. Mm -hmm. I was so shocked it just opened. Oh shoot. Check. But it's but it's still working. Oh, it's still working. <laughs> but it's yeah. it just opened all of us. I was like, what? What? But thank you so much, Nokia, for for this. But <laughs> 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 Nokia. Or baka, baka naman, Nokia. Um this is like my seven plus phone. And this is my other phone actually, yeah. Diba? Mm -hmm. My tatlong viewer ako, my my phone, my laptop. No, just kidding. I'm just monitoring. And here's our next question. Um, why of all games, Pokemon? Um, Ito talaga. Like the first thought ko talaga is parang and daming games, and daming mga ano. Parang why would you grind Pokemon? Um, ano yung parang goal mo after like capturing all shinies? 
why Pokemon? Um, I think I answered it a little bit. Oh, I think earlier. That, that because I was so get, I was getting fed up with Dead by Daylight. I was like, okay, let's try like Pokemon. Like I want something, uh, lighthearted. And and yeah, it just again it really sparked my curiosity that I I don't I don't know a lot about it. And why? Because Pokemon, you see, it's not wala, walang, it's just chill compared to other games that are competitive. And I have no MOBA experience. I have no MOBA game experience. So I really don't know how Dota or ML works. Like I'm really don't go that direction. I, do, I if I really do want to play Dota, I Dota, um like ML. a MOBA game, I really need to be good at it. Because people in the the Philippines is a MOBA country and they really take their, their MOBA game seriously. And I really don't want to, to receive, you know, negative comments again. <laughs> A lot, like yeah, a lot, a lot, and I really believe that you know, if ever I do play play those kinds of games, I really have to, you know, I really have to have thick skin, and <laughs> by this yes, time, I should have, I should be used to, you know, like negative moment. comments. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. This this is something. Uh, at least um, we know that someday, someday, guys uh, and gals, uh, you mm-hmm. heard it from her herself that. Possibly she will be streaming mobile game, and that will be very exciting to watch. Like, how would you handle the stress? Yeah, actually, because um, it's a stressor and the stressor um for our viewers. Like, mobile gaming is like I've seen a lot of my friends, like female mm-hmm. friends and streamers, who who also like got cranky, like because you know like um they are treated with a lot of disrespect. You, you know mm-hmm. that certain um yeah. limelight that the viewers would 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 give the the streamer yeah. so that's something that it's uh um i don't know um it's up to the streamer but if you're going that direction uh, we will always be there to support i know vanel like uh, vanel here um is also oh. <laughs> mentioning about um playing mobile legends and hopefully in the future we we could you know play someday but um, that will take a lot of um stress, but you know, knowing the fact that you really wanted to learn more about the Pokeverse is something that um inspires us as well. And one of the reasons why I also wanted to um play Pokemon again. That's why I, I installed an, an emulator. So shout out to Pokemon. Baka naman you can sponsor us like Nintendo Switch or whatever plat. Um, hindi kasi yun nagi ano nag, oh, One of the things that um stopped me is that um. It became very expensive, and natatakot ako sa thought na alam mo yung baka maban yung ating stream because uh-huh. we're using emulator. Have you ever thought that? Um, I think you, you mentioned that before. When uh-huh. is it okay to stream? Uh, is yeah, it okay I, to stream? I did do my research before starting because I was like, yeah. Um, but then there's so many uh videos that explain that why they can't um. Demonetize or something. Uh, would oh yeah, because well, yeah. mm-hmm. apparently, you know, I mean, if there weren't emulators, we wouldn't be playing it or something. If it, it would, if it was regulated, I'd <laughs> I'd yeah, probably that's... answer that question. But yeah. Mm-hmm. So here's the next question. Um, this is something light. Um, how did you feel when you first received um? Your first star as a streamer in Facebook. You know it's so funny. The pe- the first people who supported me were foreigners, which is yeah. why if you watch sometimes my stream, I would speak in English. Tarang gusto yeah. talaga magtagalog. Kaso nga yun nga may mga may mga foreigner. Yeah, I I he gave me a like a hundred stars, I think. That was Louis. He's from Brazil. Uh yeah, it was. It was a shock to me. Was, I, I, I feel so grateful. So. Oh, mm-hmm. That's nice. And um, now that you're you're planning to, you know, have a long term. I mean, we, we you already materialized streaming, and mm-hmm. it's really positive and giving you the um, you boost boost in terms of your, yeah. you know your daily life, and it's being part of our daily routine as well. Um, now, considering that. Um, this is something that we could um, learn a lot of. Um, 
what if this is uh, the the what if portion of life talk what if ito ito yung sabi ko kanina ng mga philosophical questions yung what if moment to. what if a very popular let's say ganito ha um i don't know if you you've been watching youtube um a lot um let's say ito one of the most popular and sig sabi natin uh, one that inspires me as well um let's say kong tv yan shout out to kong tv kong tv um visited your stream oh. and then alam mo yan, you, you, they normally have like random visit and then feature you to a one versus one pokemon battle um i know mm. how uh how would you feel and then did it came or did it come to your 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 i mean in your gaming career na those you know famous streamers that we we look up to would someday visit how would you feel Pren- how would you feel um i would feel actually there are streamers i mean they're not i mean i don't know um i would feel like so honored that they're there that they stopped by i mean who would who would go to like my stream? I'm like a nobody, honestly. <laughs> I really, I really, I, I would really be shocked and be so appreciated. Actually, there's one streamer. He's a Dead by Daylight streamer. Um, and he he's like uh kind of famous in, in, in the DBD community in the Philippines. And I was so shocked that he stopped by my chan, my my chan, my page. So um, How did you- yeah, I was really, I was shocked. I was shocked. I was like, oh my god, see si ano to? Oh my god, like it's really, it was ridiculous. I look so ridiculous there, and yeah, I would be so surprised and I would be so honored that they would even, uh, take time to, to stop by, a nobody like. <laughs> No, you're the Anana. So I, 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 someday we will be. Even I, I, I was a fan. You know, I, I have this tendency of being a fanboy, and then I was really. That's why I was honored to even have this opportunity to, to have a live talk with you. And it's, mm-hmm. you know, it's fulfilling and inspiring to, to know that there are people who, who really wanted to be part of this passion of. You know, sharing our our experiences with others. Mm-hmm. It, it may be a thing or two that you, they would learn something from this. And now, I, I watched some um, one of your videos. You 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 were I think you were recognized by Megan Young, the Megan Young. If oh, I'm not. Oh no wrong. no, ano lang nagsin kasi ang stars wala yun. Kasi pa ko ni ano kana pa na sa kanya. She's one of my idols on stream. So so yeah, it really you know. I started I really started being a fan of like other people's stream. So I know how it feels like on, on the viewer side to be recognized. So I really do try my best to to also be engaging with the people who support me. So so you yeah. um this is something I know actually I I mean you did the feeling I, I got that feeling then when for example you um people like you read like popular people or let's say people that we support you know recognizes us um how do you think um uh, uh, ano ba i rephrase ko na to question ng friend ko um my friend uh puro kasi mga ano mga, <laughs> mga personal questions dito ito na lang um okay here's here's a nice question coming from John um John would like to ask um what is your Makeup routine Hello, or your your Hello, your, your makeup ano your makeup ano daw para John ba, ang daming pwedeng question ano daw yung makeup ano mo makeup um inspiration parang is you ano daw yung mga makeup ano mo mga tips wala akong uh, honestly ngayon lang ako nag makeup usually lately sa stream ko hindi ako nag makeup masyado kilay lang tsaka oh, naka hoodie ka lang minsan <laughs> oo sometimes wala talaga makeup um, ngayon naka-makeup palaga ako, kaya medyo parang angat yung mukha ko. So, yun. Um, actually, when I first started streaming, medyo may, makapal ako mag-makeup. Pero recently, okay. medyo wala akong poke. Okay. Kung kailan ako nagkatigyawat. So, what's my make, what makeup do I use? Or what make, my makeup uh, routine? 
uh, y- y- makeup well, that you use and then uh para para ano lang what's your makeup i refresh ko na lang to what's your makeup tips especially to tips. fellow streamers now we make makeup tips actually you know i think it depends on you if you want to put like so a lot of makeup then it's up to you but for me i prefer not to cuz not to wear me aside aside from I'm, i i have sensitive skin and i would get acne it's it's so troublesome to take it off every day and it's so i don't want people to see like oh ito siya pag may makeup tapos pag wala tsaka diba parang ganun so yun din na iisip ko kaya sometimes hindi ako masyado na may makeup basta mukha ko presentable pero ngayon napapaisip ako kailangan ata naka makeup ako para alam mo yun para may, medyo may effort naman ako so, yun. kaya kaya ngayon Naka-eyeshadow wow. ako, naka, naka-contour ako. Totoo lang, yeah. yan. <laughs> like, may kilay pa, and you may know. Pero ano talaga, ba? talaga nagkikilay ako. Pero nagmumukha lang siyang super makapal kasi pinatatu ko tong kilay ko. Oh, like, so, I, I always have lipstick on and and kilay. Mm-hmm. Nice. But by makeup, I don't, by ma- when I say no makeup, like, no makeup makeup. Wala like akong heavy. funda. Wala akong funda na sinusot mm. in my recent streams masyado. Nagmumuka. Alam mo, nagmu- it's thanks to lighting. The lighting, like, right? Oh, honestly, lighting. Uh-huh. I'm using my study lamp. So that's why it's, it, it really looks great. So yeah. yeah. My study lamp. Actually, I have honest, my study. It's really my lamp. It makes everything look great. Ayan, oh, diba? So, yun. Study lab. Hindi, just kidding. Hindi nyo, the last time, mag, nag-full face ako sa, sa, sa monitor, sa screen ko, sa stream ko, tapos kita yung tigyawad ko. Ngayon, hindi masyado kasi naka, naka-makeup ang atin yun ng light. Ng very, very light. Um. <laughs> so, thank you so much for sharing that. Actually, that's something um, I'm interested to. Um, uh, if so, you um, have... Wait, natanong niya kung ro- ano, na, nagsagot yung tanong niya. So, kilay, eyeliner, Um, hindi ako nag eyeshadow Eyeliner lang talaga. Tapos since hindi masyado, hindi masyado deep set yung mata ko, um, yeah, ma- manipis na eyeliner. Um, if I do put foundation, I do like, like bake, I guess. Bake sometimes. So that di kita eye bags. I do cover my, my, um, my blemishes. Blemishes uh-huh. and And if I do put contour, I use like a taupe contour because I'm so pale. And I use a bagay yung bag yung alam mo kung ano yung bagay sa'yo. Dapat kailan mo talaga sarili mo. And I noticed with myself, bagay sa akin mga plum, plum lipstick, plum, plum uh, oh, blush. blush. I would use, yung, actually yung mura lang makeup ko guys. Baka isipin yung mahal. Uh, yung makeup ko yung Careline na blush. Favorite ko yung kulay plum dun. Alimutan ko yung pangalan. Pero yun yung ginagamit ko. If ever nagwa-blush ako. Pero usually hindi. Yung lipstick ko, I like plum lipsticks. I mean, it comes off pink, but I really like plum. Plum, medyo, um, medyo bluish pink, mga ganon. Pink. Mga plum red, lipstick. Red, red violet or violet. Oh, plum. Yeah. The plum itself. The darker mm-hmm. shade of the purple. I don't look good with like peach lipstick or like... Like the pale uh, ones. Or different or a different shade of, uh, of pink or... Pink. Or like an orangey red. No. Doesn't look good on me. Yeah. Girl, wow, bakit siya orange? Orange na shade. But yeah, uh, that's something. So, John, I hope that answers your your makeup question. Thank you, John. <laughs> Ito yung mga light questions. Sabi ko, di ba? Sometimes I, I really ask like random like personal questions na hindi naman masyadong personal. Um, now, I have a very nice question coming from Vanel. Um, oh, here's man. a good question he saw from Twitter once. And here it goes. I know that 2020 is hard for a majority of us, but instead of looking at the negative side of things, um, he would like to know what were the positive things that happened to you in 2020? Or what did you learn, had discovered, and what are those? That's such an easy question because my honestly for me, my biggest blessing is the stream and along with it is the people who, you know, supported me and helped me. And that's my and my friends oh. who helped me. And that's my biggest I, I can say positive. 
I guess. That's like really for me blessing. Yun. And when I I guess through that bless in through that blessing, I also um learned more about myself. I really improve myself because I know that I I do make a lot of mistakes. So that really that really opened my mind and that really made me, you know, a, a better person. So I guess that's it. So um thank you so much. I hope Venel that answers um answers your question. And here's the other um follow-up question that I, I wanted to know that um since now streaming is you know the end thing for most of us, mm -hmm. um what are the other plans? I not what are the other things that you um considered learning while in the process of becoming one of the best streamers in the pokeverse or let's say one uh, of the um kasi kubaga um diba may mga ano tayo, we we have um mga there are streamers that they have their certain tawag nito um niche. mga pakulo or mga mga yeah. pakulo uh, ano ba yung kubaga are we expecting something more or um, the chill stream I, I hope so i hope so but yeah i really need to honestly i need i need to i need to have a pasabog as well because again i know that this is something ephemeral like you know it might be one day that you know i get and no one watches me or something or the people who you know like uh, there are people who don't support me anymore and i do think about that and it, it really i i think there's an importance in thinking those things so that it humbles you down and it's not going to be always okay for 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 you and and i really i just really yeah i really need a I really need to think of ways. Kaya nga video gaming creator, you have to create content. You can't just simply stream games. So that's really something that I I really think about. I really think about making content for for my stream and and I, I wanna keep the audience entertained. So nice. So here's my other question. Um have you ever thought of putting up a YouTube channel? Um, I do have one, but I don't know what to do with it. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I should make tutorials, but then again, if I make tutorials, it would be, there's so many people like, I learned, I learned my the tutorial, the, I learned them from other tutorials as well from YouTube. So I don't see, I just feel like I'm stealing like their, I mean, not stealing, but I'm like just refabricating their content. So I really... I don't know if I should do that. I don't know if I should vlog. There's nothing, again, like I'm not, I didn't get why people will watch because I'm not an interesting person. I said, so, so, yeah, so boring. Uh, oh. uh, some of viewers uh, uh, try to, uh, no, to counter our No, no, no need. But like, <laughs> I really, to me, to me, I'm super boring and I don't know if I should, you know, like YouTube. So, mm hmm. Oh, but uh, but uh, in the future, uh, did you ever consider that um, you know, um, direction as well? Since um, most streamers, I mean, For me, no, 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 talaga. Like, ito nga parang na ano lang ako eh, yung page ko parang nasa napagsabihan lang ako. Never ko na isip na mag stream or kumawa na Facebook page. <laughs> Totoo lang. Totoo lang. Kung hindi ako na pagsabihan ng kaibigan ko na mag stream. So, uh, considering that, um, ilang months ka na ba na, uh, how, uh, when was the, the on first? On and off ako, pero July ako nag-start nag ng page, pero mid-July ako nag-stream. Kasi ang hirap, alam mo, pag-aaralan mo talaga eh. Kasi ako right. dati lagi yung stream ko. <laughs> Kasi hindi ko, I, I didn't know how. And it took me, like, literally, it takes you forever to learn. <laughs> You know, when I was when I was just starting, I thought it was so easy. Like you, you can just stream, you can just play games. But no, it's actually really Difficult. challenging. It's challenging. challenging yeah. Correct, correct. Like especially, you know, how, how do you do this? Even like setting up like the stream, parang how, how can we start this way? And then when you watch on YouTube, like ah, so this is what you're going to do. And then when you're going to actualize it, like. 
ah, I'm just gonna stream this and then <laughs> I mean it gets frustrating at some point. But now that you mentioned that you're going to have your first year anniversary on the um on July, um and then that's something uh, that's something in, uh, refreshing for us, especially to your supporters, mm-hmm. that um you're you're having that direction na. I mean you're actualizing and you're materializing the streaming um as a one of your passion and um hobbies. You mentioned earlier that you're into reading books and also FGDs mm-hmm. or focus group discussion. Um now is the part since we're already almost done with the live talk. Mm-hmm. I, I want you I, I want to learn more of what are the things that you do to inspire yourself and motivate yourself, especially at downfalls that you experience um daily. Because not all that, all the time that we are really inspired of. And then, what are the? You mentioned you were reading books. What were the books that you were reading, and why it inspires you? Um. So, um, with regards to your first question, how do I? It's important to take breaks. You know, really have to take breaks, and it's what it's important. What you do with those breaks, it's important that you try to be productive. If if not if you're not productive in your uh in how you define productive, you can still be, you know, it's just really a rest, like a mental, emotional break. And it's good to take breaks, and you should. You should take breaks. And you but you should always have a deadline for your emotions. It's not like for the whole year I'll be ako. <laughs> Alam mo yun, dapat may deadline ka and you try to find solutions. You try to find ways on how you on how you can combat that and how you can become a stronger and better person. That's why I always I always tell myself na like kung kurwari, like I get fed up with like if ever I do get fed up with something with like the stream or something. I always tell myself like it's important that you take a break and that you know down we shouldn't view stress as a negative uh, thing because stress is some is it's a remind it, it's a reminder of the body that something's uh not not right I guess something's not you have to go through it it's something stress is part of our lives and it's something you have to go through it. You shouldn't view it as negative or as something that's that's a burden and you should you should stop living life you should be in despair no no i think that it should be something that can make you stronger towards the end when you when you pag nalagpasan mo na when you pass by it wow that's something mm-hmm. um that's something really um uh mm-hmm. how do you call this something inspiring mm-hmm. i always um take that consideration is um just like what per um precious mentioned here that taking breaks is always good it's the secret in performing great and that's something that it's really um refreshing and i like that um that you mentioned stress is should not be taken as something that is a burden because we mm-hmm. should um, go through it and we should manage or resolve it you should persevere yeah mm-hmm. and I, may katapusan, di ba? So, correct. Parang parang ne, joke. Uh, correct. <laughs> kagad ng, sa, 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 alam mo na kagad si ng ng hugot. But yeah, I really admire or I really want uh, want to take that um thought mm-hmm. from you that you 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 take this as something challenging that you really. Parang alam mo yung like Pokemon, like or as gamers that some people would not understand how it helps us develop our confidence mm-hmm. and sometimes we learn something from it, like. Uh, paano kaya natin ma-overcome? Uh, we do research, we prepare for it, and then, mm-hmm. what if, uh, diba, sometimes when, when ang maganda sa emulator, we could just restart it. <laughs> Pero sa ating, minsan, hindi natin nasa-save, and the, oh, uh-uh, like, yeah. the golden days of Game Boy, yung bigla na, na naubos yung battery mo, and the, oh my, oh my God, like, what happened? Hindi ka naka-save. And then you have to go back again. <laughs> Unlike I ngayon, think- mas maganda Diba? Have you experienced that? Na you forgot to save somewhere, and then you have to oh, redo yeah, everything. Definitely, definitely. Um, I just want to say, like the whole. I think this is where our conversation comes in full circle. Um, mm-hmm. I think that the the essence of Pokemon and the narrative of Ash Ketchum, you know, it's about don't let not giving up. If you think about it, you th- if you. 
never siya sa unang series hindi siya nanalo di ba he yes exactly he didn't go to the pokemon league didn't pokemon become the league. champion but did he give up no no and and that just goes to show the like life is you should take life not as oh i need to achieve this kailangan ko maging magaling kailangan ko kailangan ako lang yung magaling no it's about the process that took you to get where you are now and the notice ko kay the notice ko dun sa narrative ng pokemon it's about the journey it's about the journey right exactly it's about the friends that you make the experiences that you that you learn the the what what can you do to make yourself better and that's why i really find i guess pokemon more interesting especially it's really common in japanese uh culture and that they Ghibli they apply principles. those they apply those principles that it's not about you know the end it's about what took you to get there and right. go ahead. Maganda yun. Actually, that's the reason why I call myself as well the journalist. Uh-uh. Yan, yan yung ginagamit ko, the journalist, is that I, I yeah. always embark on a journey. And as a journalist, yun din, as a journalist, I list down. Parang I, I I take everything. Like, even this live talk is a journey um to life itself. And that's one thing that I really um find beauty in Pokemon. It's just from the first OST niya na, you teach me and I teach you Pokemon. <laughs> you teach me and I teach you. We learn from each, each other's other. experiences. Yeah. And let me letting go. Alam mo yung the first time when Ash, you know, pinakawalan niya si Butterfree and that was like yeah. the saddest part of my, my <laughs> youth. I was like, and then you persevere. Alam mo yung si Caterpie na pinakawalang Sorry sa mga Caterpie mm-hmm. friends natin dyan, sa mga, mga widow friends natin dyan na maging kakuna sila or maging uh, Metapod or, or Magikarp. Magikarp is the very important, uh, isa sa mga paborito kong mm-hmm. i-grind na Pokemon. Huwag mo siya iiwan sa Pokemon, you know, um, ano yun, I forget the, yung, alam mo yung, yung, iiwan mo sa matanda. Ah, uh, daycare, daycare center. Daycare. Ah, hindi daycare, hindi daycare. Daycare ba yun? Yung, iiwan mo sila and then, parang after a few um walks in the journey and then l- l- level up sila oh ah, yeah no, daycare center daycare yeah. center right in daycare center mm-hmm. and then yes finally level 40 na and then boom mm-hmm. gawin na natin siyang gyarados after one level but um that's something that we learn from pokemon is that it's the journey it's the journey of mm-hmm. life itself and you know I it, notice he's a He's not like ako yung pinaka magaling. It's about what took him to be to be, you know, a good trainer, a good Pokemon, a good Pokemon master. You know, we we like in stories we like people who are relatable. We like people who are right. personable. I mean, Ash, he's just a home like he comes from Pallet Town, unlike his rival and, Gary. And his antithesis si Gary, Dios si Gary, he's potatoes mayaman, mayabang, mayapang, pogi. Oh, but Ash is just a simple guy and he he tries to, you know, I really love characters who try to prove a point because they're so inspiring and they're so relatable and it feels like you can also achieve great heights because of those people. They keep you inspired. So, yeah. And it's really something that, um, that's one thing that uh, I, I really wanted about Pokemon. Uh-huh. And I don't it's... know if this is insightful to people, but that's how, what I noticed with Pokemon. <laughs> I can see the comments right now. I exited, so. No, it's okay. Uh, thank you so much, um, Vanel. And of course, the fans of, I mean, the fans, the fans, yeah. the fans of, of Anna, um, especially um, being with us. And I know it's uh, getting a bit late, but I'm so thankful so far. I don't know, uh, this is something that, uh, because to all of my um, first viewers or um, th- those who are new in my channel, I used to be a radio disc jock in, uh, back in the day. So this is something that um new to me because I'm showing myself because none of my listeners before have seen me <laughs> like my face because i i don't want people to to recognize me walking ah that's dj gab that's ah that's that's the person i'm listening to over the radio and tada diba na, na sila yung mga mga dreams niya na ay, ito pala yung bosses ah, ito pala yung itsura yeah. ng ng bosses na yun na parang ampa hindi just kidding grabe I, naman I, dia grabe grabe <laughs> alam mo naman yun uh, i learned my uh, i learned dj in davao you're, yeah, in that yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Sana uh, all. Yeah. Sana nice. all. 
hindi nakakamis um, especially like doing radio shows and then um, but now I really have to it took me like a lot of um, discussions with my partner um, is it okay because this is something um, I'm publicly sharing myself to others and then alam mo din yung, minsan may mga comments din talaga na um, you know negative na sometimes nakakasad but um, hmm. learning from fellow streamers nakakabus sa akin ng ng well, ano Good. Nang, nang, you know, um, like d- doing this, like grinding the live talk and hopefully streaming well as well and, you know, enjoying life to the fullest. And now this is something na, um, because we're already in the last quarter of yeah. um, the, 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 the show, the talk is that um, what are your, your um, ito, what would you like to to share with your with the people who's watching so, or who's going to watch this live talk like um any in, um insights any tips that you would like to share to starters or who would want to start as a streamer as well and lastly is um any words of wisdom that you would like to share or oh yeah um impart? i guess i really you know i really came i had I had, I really, you know, before I started, I had good intentions. But I really did make it a point that I need to, I need people to, you know, give me money or something. It's, I think that your intentions are really important. Before, if you want to start streaming, you have to be genuine. Uh, you have to, you know, you have to create content. Um, You can't just play. Yeah, you have to create content so that people are more engaged and interested in you and i guess i i also want to tell you thank you for you know honestly i hope when you go i don't i hope i don't sound offensive but i really i kind of and i think i'm so like happy that someone would even want to interview me or in, like have a podcast with me i should be the one who's honored because you know i'm a nobody no <laughs> no really, really though really though i i i should be the one thanking you go you dito yung dj so davao oh that was i i should be the one that's so honored and yeah thank you so much for for for, for having me and i really I really hope that this stream doesn't make me look. I mean, this conversation doesn't make me. Look, oh, I'm, I'm like there already. I'm like, you know what I mean? No, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get the idea. There was a time. There was a time that actually my other friend asked me, "Oh, I should do an interview." Or, sabi ko ako, sino ba ako para interview? Baka walang manood, de ba? So yun nga. So yun nga. So I'm thankful ko talaga. <laughs> Uh, and this is not going to be the first time, actually. Uh, this is not going to be the uh, first. Uh, this is just. Oh, it's my first time as well. So please be, please be. Really? It's my first time to ever be interviewed, like in this. Oh, Set up. Like, interview, talaga. Um, really? Oh, oh, like in this way. Um, kaya that's why hindi ako sanay kung ano ano na lang sinasabi ko and my I'm stuttering. I'm, I'm not continuing. I'm not speaking in complete sentences. I'm so shy talaga. Sorry talaga. Peace, peace, peace. Nayain talaga ako. <laughs> no, I... Hindi na kayo pag-uusap. So, yun na lang. But, I but, like... uh, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, actually, um, thankful din ako. I, I, actually, this is a... Because I, 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 I just follow a certain number of like streamers talaga. Mm-hmm. Because, I alam mo yun... Uh, na thankful din ako na because this is something I want to 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 showcase to the world or to showcase to future viewers of this and to also to my 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 circle to my network to my friends na, and to your friends as well and to your circles so that w- would be rewatching this there's going to be a a isa mga nagko-comment and nagme-message na um na miss daw nila they're late um they're sorry no need oh, to no, apologize okay. it's okay. Diba, diba, we, we we share the same sentiment sometimes but you yeah. don't really have to yeah. alam mo you, you, you mm-hmm. watch the whole season you have to be here every Every day, like uh, that's what I tell it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Na parang alam, no, 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 hindi mo kailangan. You're not required to stay. Kung baga, 
you being there like waving a hand or reacting is more than enough and then you know supporting is something that fuels us to to do what makes us um happy and then since it's already 11 minutes before um 12 that's so um touching to know um and fellow streamers help fellow streamers or mm-hmm. people um this is something that because i want to be like ash Ketchum, i want to make friends with people and then we really want to have this journey of um inspiring people especially at this time especially that um i want to promote communication in in general in any platforms i want to inspire people to really speak out like simple simple things that hindi masyado alam mo sometimes um i watch other podcasts and then i i learn and this is something that i i i, I got from you know sarah suyom and libni fortuna's triggerless life talks and i said why uh, why can't i uh, or should i and then after December, I talked to my partner, and then she said, uh, uh, "You know, I'm so proud that you, um, you're planning to do that, and that's something that I really wanted to do because I'm a talkative person. <laughs> I, I talk a lot, I think a lot, and then sometimes I don't have anyone to talk to. Uh, you know, I, I I don't know if you have seen my brother like pass by, but you know, I don't <laughs> I don't have anyone to talk." To to aside from my partner and that's something that um, we have a, a special communication but i want people to uh, i want people to to be inspired as well i don't want people i want to educate people just like what you are doing and it's something that's refreshing to fellow streamers or fellow um gamers who who appreciate life in in, in any simple form and this is something that is um worth uh, mentioning or worth doing and this year is a, a great year for everyone and i always wanted to to have conversations like you know life talk is something that um people should be doing and it not it's not a must but something that it, it's a starter just like when we start uh, choosing our starter pokemons ganun din siya in, in life we really have to start somewhere and this is something that is special to me this third episode because i was graced by someone who was really game and i i was it is it was a shocker to me knowing that this is your first time ever i mean in this kind of platform to talk and but you were like so professional and so alam mo parang sanay na sanay ka sa sa interview but like, hindi talaga. I keep on. Oh my gosh, I I I I won't watch this because I feel I feel like it's gonna be a cringe fest for me. Anyways, I just I I can't say no because you're so kind to me and and like I just can't say no. And sino ba ako para, di ba? Sino din ako para di ako mong, di ba? Like mong 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 pa mong pa interview to someone who's really nice to me and who's also genuine and. Who's also a Kapwa Pokemon streamer? Why would why would I say no? Why would I say no? soon? Kapwa Pokemon streamer soon. Why would I say no? And you know, it's it's my thanks to you for also helping me. So it's the least that I could do for you. So thank you so much, um, um, Anna, for you know, uh, this is something that it took me, you know, it took me a lot of courage. Uh, you know, I I've sent out a lot of invitations as well, and then you You're know, very I very charismatic. You're very good, very good at, at interview. But well, thank I, you. I say this wholeheartedly. I say this wholeheartedly. Yeah. Uh, that's that's something that will, you know, because this is going to be because this is recorded. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 this is something that I will really look back to, and then a lot of my mm-hmm. friends as well, and my my relatives on. Uh, in different parts of the globe we'll, we'll also rewatch this and um because just watch out on my my vlog on february i'll be showcasing 32 things that you should know about me and um oh. I'm, I'm i'm really thankful because you you, you didn't hesitate you, alam mo, you, you didn't hesitate to really grab the mm-hmm. interview and i was so honored as well i'm so thankful and it's something that parang the anna par, par, i know it's, the COVID. I don't <laughs> you to exalt you or par, uh, yung, yung parang i- erase talaga par, yung ganun na feeling na parang uy si ano yun that's a streamer na si anna and then something na parang uy nakakataba din ng puso and hopefully this will not be the the, the last and this is just the start of the journey because yeah. um 
since I I've learned that you're also a cinephile, there there are a lot of things that I would also like to consider in putting up content um weekly dito sa aking uh, sa aking page as well because this is a live blog and introducing people like you is something really important. So any last hindi naman last uh, any um parting messages to your supporters and uh, may may gusto ka bang i, I advertise yeah, I mean, I, you know, I said yes because I, I also think about, oh, this will help me, you know, people will get to know me, who I am uh, as a person. And I really thought about, like, you know, it's about me being honest so that people know know who I am and I do mean what I say. And, yeah, I, I, really, I really just want people to get to know me as well and not have prejudices about me because people do have prejudices about you i mean everyone like everyone has a first impression about you and i think this will be helpful for me because i really need to improve all my communication skills because i stutter so much and i i'm so nervous and yeah this will this will definitely help me so thank you thank you so much and thank you to all the people who stayed yeah and like uh, stayed. I, I was so, you know i i never had this you know, lot, you know, certain number of viewers actually, but you know, I, I just covered the number of viewers actually. Yun din yung isa sa mga I, I learned from my fellow streamers as well. Just um, recognize the names and recognize the people and thank them for really um, staying up with us. And you know, just by dropping by, uh, I, 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 I got a lot of questions and I'm really sorry for those um, people whose questions were not really asked, but don't worry, um, who knows. This will. This is just a f- first part, and hopefully we, we will have a, a different part or a secondary mm-hmm. part. And um, last question is that um, will there be a second uh, second part in the future? That's a yes. Ikaw po ba? What the money ne? What the money te? Kapi na mo. Ash Ash badge. Yeah. Pero oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Anna. For really um, answering the thank question. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Okay, lang, okay, lang. Sige, continue, continue. Yeah. But uh, um, it, because it's already getting late, and I, alam ko, we, we have work pa tomorrow. We have a work pa tomorrow, and we, we stayed up to really discuss things about handling stress. And hopefully, to our all our viewers, you could um. Um, share this and share the positivity and the good vibes, just like what um, Anna have imparted to us, like her life. We could get to know more about um, her stream. So just don't forget to like, follow, and share her streams and her oh, page as well. The same to you. Please do follow. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 Kung may mag, kung may follow that's just go. Pero thank you so much, Anna, for gracing this. Okay. And um, that's I think that's it. This is Life Talk with AB. You're here with me, the ever so pretty and posh okay. and goofy and sassy Anna. This is not going to be the first time. And hopefully you will be seeing us someday on um, another podcast because this, kadami kong sabi nila, Ash, you should do this every day. Sabi ko, Ash, you should do Every day? <laughs> parang, ano, parang, siguro an hour. Hopefully, um, I, I was also thinking, maybe I'll be, instead of doing, like, gaming streams, maybe I'll be doing the, you know, the, the, the ang problema lang kasi talaga is that, you know, the copyright sometimes, it will mute my, my talk. <laughs> yung, yung issue ko din. I had a talk, and then, na-mute yung buong two hours, so like, Mm. But thank you so much, Anna. Yeah. You know, thank you, thank you, well, thank so- you. I should have you in my in my stream. I wanna. I also wanna do like podcasts. Yeah. Oh, that's that's something. That's a start. You. I should have you. I should have. Sure, you. that's um. I'm. I'll be honored and just you know message me. <laughs> and that's something really yeah. nice. I don't know if that's uh, good content, but yeah, I really that's a good content that. actually. Like yeah. um, won't play with your heart and. February, um, watch out again, guys. Um, keep on, uh, keep posted. Um, like, follow, subscribe my page as well. Share the love, and I'll be sending you something in physical as a part, yeah, as a gift, physical. as a gift. Oh, like Pokemon. Padalaw ng ano? COD yun. Actually, it's COD. It's COD. Oh. And this is kidding. Uh, I'll be, 
I, I'm actually I have plans to giving you know tokens since it's not personal. Mm-hmm. I, I can give it personally, so I'll be sending something as a, as a token of a, a token of appreciation to all of my you know. It may be in virtual form as well as a parting as a token of appreciation. Oh, may pag-gift lang. So, ikaw na lang mag, ano, ikaw na lang mag, magbayad pagdating ng, ng drive. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi. Actually, si Odi talaga i-order ko sa Shopee Tos. Hindi, just kidding. Pero thank you, thank you so much, everyone. So, catch me again next week, Sunday. I'll be having another um live talk, episode 4. And this is Anna. Bye. So, bye everyone. So, ano naman na, hindi na ba picture kasi i-screenshot ko lang yung mga wacky poses. <laughs> So, thank you so much and have a nice night, everyone. God bless. Bye. Keep on dreaming. Keep, bye, Christian. Keep on bye, Christian. Bye. Bye, Christian. Bye, Van. Bye, Vanel, Eman, and everyone bye, who Van. Bye, Van. Bye, Vanel. Bye, Eman. Bye, Sergey. <laughs> <laughs>